applause, bring me the applause, bring me the applause, and hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, season two, episode 38, round of applause for the people in the studio. Wow, 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 that was beautiful. Guys, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast. If I know we just, we record every single week, every single week we have come back to this studio for 38 consecutive weeks. But every time I step away from this microphone, it feels like I haven't been here in a quarter century, half past the moon and come back. Do you know what I mean? That's a real increment of time over in the Icelandic region. That's how they calculate time and measurement. We have an announcement early in the episode, as we do for most episodes. But this episode specifically, we have a big, big announcement. Y'all wanted more garments. Y'all wanted more merch. A lot of y'all bought everything. And you're like, "Ah, I've already worn it for two weeks straight. I need some more stuff. Well, follow la 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 la. We have brand new merch, Christmas inspired merch, one out of 10 koala bears inspired merch available on the website, youshadowstudios.com backslash shop available right now. Now, we're going to pop it up on the screen for the YouTuber watchers. I, I messed that up. YouTube watchers. And for the audio listeners, just go over to youshinostudios.com backslash shop. This merch is one out of 10 koala bears. Don't make it home to Christmas merch. If you're a real listener, real watcher, you know I say that at the end of every episode. And I've been saying it since I was 15 years old, sophomore year of high school. I remember saying it in the basketball gym and everybody looked at me crazy and that feeling that I got saying that it was an overwhelming amount of joy and now at 23 years old I am saying it to the masses and now y'all can rock it on your bodies I'm not gonna lie we've put out great merch so far obviously you can see all the merch around us or all the merch that is on the website it's great all of it's great but this has a special special place in my heart beautiful we got uh, hoodie. We got a uh, one out of ten koala bear hoodie, black and red, and then we have a crew neck sweatshirt. How many S's in spit just came out? A lot. Crew neck sweatshirt. Uh, that's available. Also, one out of ten koala bears. And I know a lot of y'all are parents. I've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of a lot of DMs, a lot of comments saying, "Peyton, we got kids, and the kids love the podcast, but they can't wear anything because you don't have kids' clothes." Well, guess what? We have kids clothes, youth sized, you should know basic t-shirts available right now. So enjoy the podcast as a family, represent it as a family. Everybody from the eldest to the youngest can rock some you should know podcast merch. And guess what? The season of holiday giving isn't over. You know why? Because there is a discount code for the merch. It's 10% off. And the discount code is Happy Holidays 10. You're welcome. Happy Holidays. You don't have to thank me. Best way to thank me and thank yourself is going to youshinostudios.com backslash shop and getting you some new merch. Happy Holidays 10 for the discount code. I don't know if you can see, but below me, there is a new friend here. We went to the P.O. box and we got another Squishmallow. This unicorn's name is Kevin, and it was gifted to us by the lovely fan, Eliza. I, 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 I assume that's how you say it, Eliza. So thank you, Eliza. I appreciate you. We got a new, we, we're getting infiltrated here. We're going to have to start doing a rotation with these. We can't have all of them for every episode. So if you see one that you sent is not here in like a week or whatever, it's not like we threw it away. It's just going to be rotated because we're getting uh, overwhelmed by all these. But we're so appreciative. So thank you. Keep sending stuff. It doesn't have to be Squishmallows. It could be notes. It could be, um, uh, it, it could be a toothbrush you used last week. Please don't do that, actually. I regret saying that on the open airways. Please don't do that. Or I will call the Federal Bureau of Investigations to your home. This episode is very special. Very special. You know why? We got a special guest that will be joining us halfway through the podcast, and he is literally my favorite TikToker right now. I've been obsessed with his content for months. For for some reason, I've just been in this spiral of watching his content. He goes by the name of Vukum. I know a lot of you know him. I know a lot of you. He's, he's, he's been popping up on your For You pages, as he has for me. Vukum will be joining us. He flew all the way down from New York 
to join us. So, guys, we got to make them feel special. I know the You Should Know podcast family is very strong. Y'all will move as a united front. I need everybody to click the link in the description. It's going to be Vukum Social and just say, welcome to the You Should Know family. Just spam him. He's not, I'm not going to tell him we did this. Just spam, welcome to the You Should Know family. So he knows, like, damn, I, I hope I didn't fly all the way to Dallas to be on the podcast or nothing. The fans didn't like me. We, we love Vukum. Go to his socials and say, welcome to the You Should Know family. He'll appreciate that. I'll appreciate that. And I will be checking. I will be checking. Don't you disappoint me. All right. That was a long intro, but a lot of cool stuff. We got co-host Cam in the building. Let's have a great episode. Talk to you in a little bit. Tis the season for clean balls. La 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 la. Our friends at Manscaped are helping you clear your driveway for safe travels this holiday season. From stocking stuffers to white elephant, Manscaped's products are at the top of every wish list. Grab some crop mops for your pops or the body buffer for the holiday lover. Win this year's white elephant gift and help all the men in your life go from eggnog to nice hog this December by going to manscaped.com and using code PSH for 20% off and free shipping. I cannot tell you how many messages I've gotten saying, Peyton, we did an early Christmas in my family and I gave a, a performance package to a man in my life and it, I completely won Christmas. They've been so happy and I use promo code PSH at checkout. I'm telling you, if you are not confident in what gift to give a man in your life, Manscaped is surefire, 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So get 20% off and free shipping with code PSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code PSH. Manscaped for a perfect gift that will be the holiday's biggest hit. Thank you to Manscaped. And now back to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. No, we got co-host Cam back. I don't have good hips. Oh. Hey, watch it now. That's, I'm that's taking your gig. gig. That's, did we? Pinch poke, you owe me a Coke. Pinch punch, you owe me a lunch. You a smooch? Ooh. I didn't mean that. Get the pinky, pinky blanket. Bro, why do we do this every it's episode? And blanket. the audio listeners don't know. Look, I, 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 I got a I can take it. Anyway. Take it. Oh, oh, speaking of your hips, me and Cam okay. went to a, uh, a bar oh the other night. <laughs> and you know when you go to a bar, you get like... Just- you get you get, you get t- touched up. They check your pockets, your waistband. They make sure you're not having any yeah, weapons. That was ridiculous what happened. Me, ten seconds. Boom, boom, boom. Check the pockets. You're good to go. Go inside. Bow. He goes. Hey, all right, all right. You're next, bro. I, I was. Walk up. I look for Cam, and Cam's taking a long time. Like, did did Cam bring a, some machinery in here that I don't know about? Nope. I look back. They were just moving down he Cam's hill. He's like. He's like I was like, yo, I said, what is, I said, I don't got nothing. Like, what's going like, on? Something's not right with this hip. He's like, he's like, all right, you're good to go. Have you seen a chiropractor? I'm just like, hey, all right, man. I know. I told you, Kev's got a, a set of hips. Miss Butterworth type, Johns. But yes, back at it again. Episode 38. Back at it like a. Ah. Can't do that. Can't do that. If, Family if, program. Yeah. If, if you know, you know. If, if you know, you know. Oh, hit that. If you know, you know. But. There's a, there's a horrendous murder happening outside. Yeah. It's a, a horrendous what? Murder? Oh. What? <laughs> what the hell happened? I thought I, thought I said something wrong. No. Um, but yes. Did you know one you. out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas? Did you know that these people, our fans, our family, are uh, condoning your freak behavior? They, they, that's why they love say, us. He has been saying this before you should know was even a thought yeah. in his mind. He has been saying this for so long. Just randomly. He'll literally hit you. Be like, hey, bro, did you hear? Hear what? That one out of ten call, and I'm just like, you, you. I have a video of us, snake nasty rat little dirt boy. You just nasty little. (laughs) I have a video of when me and Cam lived together, and I was recording him, and I just said it, and he was so upset. He was like, I don't know if I, I might put this in the Discord, but you were like, see, whenever it's just dead silent and I have nothing to say. I just don't say anything. Yeah, I just don't. There's nothing to say. You are like, hmm, nobody's talking. I haven't said anything in a while. Do you know what I think of it? When I think of it, like it's his nervous like plug to just start. It. Oh god, dude, it's, but it just rolls off the tongue, and it's a true fact. I spent I spent quality fact. time. You did not. You overseas. Nev- you have never seen a koala bear. I've I've been in the process since I was 15 years old to get that put into every textbook and literature inside of public it's schooling systems. Happen. It's not a fact. Anyway, rock that koala bear merch with pride. Regardless, 
We are adding a new couple pieces of merch to the season two drop. It's not a whole new merch drop. It's the same uh, same drop. The discount code as well, as he said, Happy Holidays 10. So we love you. Enjoy that. Um, but yeah, the fact that some of y'all are going to have a koala on your back. Uh, all of you should. I think this man and his ludicrous sayings. But does it not look good? It looks good. It looks it's, great. It's just, it's, he's, I don't. That's y'all. You that's know? why. That's why me and the audience are like this. Yes, because we're, we're all freak weirdos. It, it's, it's hilarious, and it's uh, it's that can easily be your ugly Christmas sweater or your ugly. I mean, it's not ugly. Oh, by the way, I want they won't know what it means. So they'll be like, why is this, why why does she have a koala? Yeah, I, I want to say this. Do not expect it to be here by Christmas. So if you're planning to, for to yeah. be a Christmas gift, do not expect it to be a Christmas gift because I can't promise you that it will be here. At, at if, your own. I mean, realistically, this comes out Monday. If you were to order Monday, it should be, but we're not stamping nothing. Yes. We're not, we're not, so no, don't expect no promises. that. And don't, don't email our merch team and be this like... This was supposed to be a gift. This was supposed yes. to be here. Uh, so cool. be nice to them, yes. please. They're working very hard. But, um, yeah, you're welcome, I guess. You're going to rock it with I pride. Will. I'm gonna, I mean, I will, I will have one as well, but yeah. Dude, I'm starting to get a thing for squirrels. What the hell? What does that mean? A thing. What are you looking at him like a? <laughs> no, no, no. Start daydreaming. What do you mean you're getting a thing for squirrels? <laughs> no, no, I don't. Not like that. Don't make me what come you, out you that hunt, way. You hunt them out now. You're going through your drive. You're just. There's also a little squ- oh, there he is. No, man. no. You, do not make me seem like some sick freak. <laughs> don't make me come out that way. What do you come out that way? What are you talk about squirrel? What's going on right now, bud? What do you mean you're getting a thing? You no, need no, to, no, no. You need to watch. <laughs> no, no, no. You need to watch. I didn't mean Someone's it. Someone's like- dialing a number to get you to get you under investigation. I right didn't now. mean it like that. You need to explain yourself. I just what mean- do you mean you're getting a thing for squirrels? I just think they're cute. Okay. No, not like that. You're, you're you're really pissing me off. Not only is someone literally typing up a report <laughs> to kidding. get you They're gonna behind the bars me. right now. What do you mean? What do you mean? They're gonna cancel me. Squirrels I don't are mean it like that. Three little nut grabbing bandits that are just trying to find a tree to survive. Them. I mean, like I, I want one as a pet. I have like you want to domesticate a squirrel. Listen though, where are we? Where are we living? Texas? No, no, no. We're living in reality. This is Earth. Real life, buddy. Okay. You want a squirrel on a leash. You have deeper <laughs> No, problems. I was thinking more of like a hamster what cage. What happened when you were a kid? I, what happened? But listen. There's trauma. But listen. I what ha- The reason I started thinking about this is because I was in a park, right? Alone. As I normally am. God. And it was next to a tree. And it started climbing up the tree and it looked at me. And I haven't, I haven't felt that kind of like... Um, okay. Okay. No. No, 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 no. no. It was no. a friendship no. type of thing. No. Like a dog. Oh, oh friendship? <laughs> like a dog. Oh, you got a thing for your, all your friends. What, what are we doing? No. No, listen to what me, are please. You saying? Please don't make me look I this way. I haven't felt that type of stare. It's a squirrel. No, I, it's stop. looking at your head, trying to figure out if that's a bush, if, it, if there's a nut in there somewhere they can find, and then no, it, look, but, it went up the tree. No, but listen, I'm talking about like... You, you need to watch You know whenever you go to... You need to watch your words. You know when you go to a dog shelter? Thing for squirrels. Haven't felt that stare in a long time. They're cute. What's happening? You know when you go to a dog shelter and you see a dog look at you and you immediately know that's my dog. You know I'm right. I have that with squirrels. And the other... And I was... And how I knew I was true in my feelings is whenever I was driving and one of them just scampered across the road and it was, it almost got hit by my car and I got so sad because what if I would have done that normal. to a squirrel? That's normal. But but I'm not that way with everything. It could be there's been things that I've maybe 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 a rabbit. I wouldn't I would be sad, but oh, I would had a, t- a horrible story. But I wouldn't rabbit. feel I wouldn't feel as sad as I would if it was a squirrel. I, I would still feel sad, just not as sad as a squirrel. Okay, I have a thing for squirrels. That's a weird connection you got. But I one time severed the both of the ba- of a rabbit's back legs. I had to leave him there. I wasn't gonna pick him up. Thought he was dead. Wasn't dead. Back legs broke. Stuck in the street. I go do what I have to do. Come back. Four hours later, no it's care. pouring down rain. He's still in the street. He's you, freezing. You got it. You got he's it. freezing cold. His back legs are snapped. He can't move. I, when I tell you, I was a wreck for about forty-eight hours. You got to in I, that. I had nightmares of that rabbit screaming for me to help. Oh, can't oh, stop. It was bad. Stop. It's it making me sad. Bad. You got it. In that situation, you have to. I have to go over it again. I probably yes. should have. The humane thing to do, but I mean, the man was suffering for four hours without limbs and in the rain, the cold. Oh my Dude, you ruined it. That's such a bad way to go out. I'm, You're a it's, sick it's man. It's awful. I didn't mean to. Well, All you right, did it. Squirrel lover. 
There's I'm nothing wrong with loving ban- animals. I'm sorry that I wouldn't have bandaged him up, took him back, gave him some antibiot- antibiotics. <laughs> Who's antibiotics. Who's that? Antibiotics. Tried to get him back up, maybe a little couple canes, some prosthetic legs, put a leash on him, give him a name, domesticate him. There's okay. It's a squirrel. The way I the way I brought it up was wrong. I didn't mean yeah. it that way. I just mean freak. I, no, 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 no. I'm a squirrel lover. I just mean I have like a deeper connection with squirrels. Like so I, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home for Christmas, but one out of one squirrels make it home to my bedroom. You sick? You need to watch it. Oh, you're you're, 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 you're the one who turned it this no. way. You, you're the one who did this I to me. Cute thing form. Haven't felt that stare in a long time. Was this the notebook? What are you? I just want one as a pet. That connection. No, because they're gonna can't. They, they, they will come after me. I do not mean it this way. I just mean like I want one as a little pet. But give it a little hamster wheel it's inside not, of my only, apartment. The only monkey that sh- or oh! <laughs> the only pet that shouldn't be a pet that I would make a pet for me would be a monkey because that is hilarious Those, they, and the, they're beautiful. You can have a pet monkey. I know, but like, uh, do you know how to get one? Not an orangutan. Black market. Would you get an orangutan or a little sp- spider monkey? I'd get spider monkey yeah. it's gonna jump all around the bathroom play in the water but you're you seem like the type to want an orangutan and be like you I, I love him think, and then he claws your goddamn grill off yeah you think i want a you think i want a beast the size of me give him a name come on now no give me a little spider monkey like a little like a little stuffed animal that's just running around but it has a real life i i i, I what is what are you doing? Someone remix this too. He's already done it three times this episode. I've seen, a, I saw a video on TikTok the other day. Somebody had a little spider monkey and he, mm-hmm. he was putting on a diaper and they were jumping yes. around. Was, you saw that? Yes, he was like, uh, <laughs> it was so cute. jumpy boy, jumpy boy. It's so cute. He's like, <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <sighs> I, oh, I almost goodness. got a dog the other, I, I yeah, swear did. to God, I didn't even tell you this. Like, no, this is real life. No you. podcast shit, this is real life. <laughs> I almost got a dog the other day. No, you didn't. I was on the phone with my mom. You have not even met Max yet. I know. They don't even know about Max. We got we have another puppy. Yeah. They, oh, well, if you were in the TikTok live, if you're in the live, you saw him. That was a great not, live stream. That was a fantastic um, live. But I was on the phone with my mom, There's and I was no way you almost bought it. And I was just like, mom, like I have no life. Like I am lonely. I was like, I only talk to Cam. And Cam's got a whole family. <laughs> I was like, so, and then I was like, I was like, I don't want to go make new friends. And so I was like, I think I'm gonna get a dog. I think I'm just gonna go to the park and find a squirrel, <laughs> domesticate it. Mom, what do you think? She would have slapped you straight through the phone if she could have. No, but I, I honestly, I was like, mom, like from a shelter or from a breeder? Uh, shelter. Yeah. Those are the best ones. Best yeah. way to go. Malcolm was 25 cents on a car ride. Okay. <laughs> I love that dog too. And he's a warrior. Shout out to Malcolm Jerome, the Thousand Esquire Harden the third. Dude, all, Ruby was 20 bones in a back rub. <laughs> That's all yeah. we had to do to get Ruby. <laughs> Oh my God! Who is behind the screen? <laughs> what if Vukov just found that? <laughs> I'd be like, you need to leave. Oh, <laughs> what yeah. Was that? But I, I, and what kind of dog? I, I didn't get that far. So you were nowhere near, actually. Uh, no, but you just I, had the thought. No, but I genuinely, I was calling my mom because if she would have green lit it, I would have got one. But she was like, Peyton, you can't take care of an animal. You can't. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, I'll just sit here, in my devastated loneliness. Yeah. But something you can do is, this world is primal, my grinding jaw, this headache pill, the necktie on my bedroom door, my conscience burning. Stop, we're going to get copywritten, we're going to get copywritten, we're going to get copywritten. <laughs> that nothing? Alright, alright, it's too okay. long, it's too long. The, nothing? It's been stuck in my head for about... We were just in the car together, me and Cam. We played. He played this song four times back to back. He was like, "No, but you didn't hear the beginning, though. Incorrect. You didn't hear the. You didn't hear. Do you hear this lyric? There's listen, one part. The one part I said. Listen to the way this he, world is. He's like, listen to the way. But he, he he hates it. He hates it. And then not only did he play the same song four times in a row, he said, "Listen to the sped up version." And he played this. Sp- I was like, Cam, because I found the sound on Tiki Taki. Sounded great. Video was good. They did a great job. I said, let me find the real one. Listen to it. It was There's decent. not many things. It's honestly not that good of a song. Like, I can't it's lie. It's not. It's not. But that part is just... There's not many things in this world that upset me. That pisses me off. Okay. I hate that song. You loving rodents and, and other creatures and wanting to make them your... What was... You just hip thrust? What was that? <laughs> this Put world is primal. primal. Exactly. You're welcome. Dude, you I'm so hungry. Welcome. I'm about to pass out. You should eat something. We have a plethora of snacks. We do have a lot of snacks That's here at You Should Know. Great diction. Plethora. 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 
Matter of fact, <laughs> that just brought me back to our spelling days. Uh oh. Spell squirrel. You want to own one, and I bet you can't even spell squirrel. Look at you. You're nervous. You can't spell squirrel. I just don't like being put on the spot. Go, I squirrel. can do it. Spell squirrel. All right, then just be quiet. Okay. Give me confidence. Squirrel. All right, with confidence. Shutting your eyes? What is there, a whiteboard? It's just, there's too many things. All right, go. Shut All your right. eyes. All right. Squirrel. Simple word. S-Q-U-I-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. <laughs> See, you don't make me feel, you don't make me feel good about myself. What would that be? Squirrely L? Or s squ Destru we're in Gotham. Like the, the bat Arkham City is among us. There's this straight up destruction going on outside. But back to the squirrel. Spell it again. S Q U I R E L L E. There's two L's in a squirrel. How, there's not, that's there's not, not two E's. And there's not two L's. Double, I double I down wrong. I didn't put the E's together. You're two by two, you're four times wrong. There's not two L's, there's not two E's. You're acting like I just have to spell things in my everyday life. That's close enough. If you can't spell squirrel, you don't need to have one. Straight up. If you can't spell it, you don't, you don't have it. Period. End of story. What part is wrong? I'm gonna, you know, you're pissing me off. I'm dead I'm serious. I'm giving you one more chance. Okay. Squirrel, squirrel. Do you think squirrel ends in E-L-L-E? -L -L -E? Squirrel. Yeah. Squirrel? Michelle? Same way you say Michelle. Squirrel! Squirrel! Squirrel? It's the, it's the same way you it spell... Ends. It's the same. There's an ending. It's the same way you spell Michelle. It's the same thing. You... That's why... That's where and my brain honestly, went. And honestly, we're not editing this out. It's saying... You know, your life needs editing. You need... There, you need... You need a help book. Just for most things. Like, back, it's just, it's, you're, that's the thing that you do, though, that makes me mad. You make me feel dumb about trivial stuff, because there's no need. I for, do have an excess amount of useless knowledge, and I'll, I'll agree Exactly, there's no need for me to know how to spell squirrel. Who gives you know, a dick? There's certainly not a need for you to own one, and name it, and domesticate it. But they're it. so nice. They're nice? Have you seen someone feed a squirrel what, are before? are hanging out with him? I wanted to. There's that one TikTok account, and he's adorable. He's like, squishy, squishy, and he fades in the nut. Fades, <laughs> he fades him the nuts. He feeds him the nuts. Stop it. What are you, your eyes you look like a little demon. Look at him. I, like, y'all, oh, my God. There's an arachnid you, up on the you, roof. You think there is an arachnid up there. Y'all think... That I'm supposed to let this slide. If you want me to let it slide, just comment. Be like, give him a break. And you know what? I'm, I'll think about it. But just take this back to wherever you're going Monday. You wherever on your way. Squirrel. S-Q-U-I-R-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Just go and see then what, why see would what that, someone says. Why would it be spelled different than Michelle? Why would they put it two different ways? Oh, my God. I almost, I almost did full-blown rage. Did, you know what? That's a good point. You know what? That's a good point. I made a good point. That is I made an a good awful point. point. If you say that again, I'm striking Dragon. Like a, a very violent strike. He doesn't deserve that. He does. Matter of fact, that was rude. Dragon, you don't deserve that. But your father is just. Mm. Squirrel. S Q U I R R E L. Well, that's, the, that's squirrel. That's the short version. Oh my it's God. abbreviated. Oh my God. There's nothing you could have said that would have pissed me off more than what you just said. That that just did it. Okay, I could I could do one thing to him right now. I could, swear to God, I could do one thing to him right now, and it would end everything. You would never be able to make fun of me again. Me? Yes. I could do, do, it. do it. Do it. Take off your shoe and show them what your toe looks like. You won't be able to say much to me after. <laughs> They'd be like, oh. okay. You know what I'm? Uh, okay. Hey, season three merch. One toe. <laughs> Next merch drop, we're getting a poster at Camp's toe. One toe, and it's a long story. Honestly, it's just it's a story of laziness. I probably should have had this toenail removed by now, but anyway. It reeks. Uh, it was from an injury. It became bad. It's whatever. It's like if you put baby right, throw up and butter boy. together. Yeah, whatever. You're just mad that this world is bright. I'm just kidding. Whatever, dude. Yeah, whatever, dude. Anything else about animals? Squirrel boy? Why'd you just... You just opened your eyes like, yeah, let me say something else. Yeah, who are you? 
You crock. You... It is. It's time to play the game. <laughs> it's time to play the game. It was misting down it's, like Febreze. It's like all someone. Over me. Yeah, it's in your beard. It is straight up in your goatee. Straight up. That's you just. Ew. You know what I don't like. Is I was I was talking to somebody I was walking with them and we were talking about facial hair and stuff just because mm -hmm. I'm growing out my facial hair and I was I was saying you know when you say something but you're expecting a compliment back yeah like fishing for a compliment yeah. I did that with my beard because I am don't not confident it. in it yes yeah, so and don't do it and so I said like I was talking about beards and I was like yeah I'm growing mine out this long as it's been but it just doesn't connect and I like, oh was, really I was hoping that the uh, the other party would have been like nah bro it's good yeah bro it's good you don't need, it, it'll get there just keep working you know what he said. Yeah, bro, but it doesn't really need to be. It's like, God damn it. It's like, yeah, I mean, these shoes, like, they're all right. Like, I'm, I really wanted another pair, but I still like these. They're like, oh, you should have got the other one. It's like, that's, that's exactly that's it. That's just, oh, it's tough. All right, I have a, I have a would you rather. You have a would you rather? I got a would you rather. And I'm about to go to the shower Ugh. and put it all over my bower. Bower. And flowers. flowers. It's sour. sour. I'm about to go to Jay Crowder's house. Crowder. And then I'm going to put it on a blouse. blouse. And then go play with a mouse. Mouse. And Animal then lover. I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm I can't make it up. Mouses, squirrels, koalas. I I've, never met I've never met a mice. I've never seen one in person. <laughs> never met a mouse. I've never met my <laughs> Jesus. All right, Mises. Me. If there's a if there's a platoon. All right. If there's a platoon of mice, you call them Mises. No, you don't. I got my Mises and my nieces and nephews. Oh, Mises and nieces and nephews. I'm about to go. Okay. I gotta okay, yeah, you rather. okay. Let's see. So would you rather first? Yeah. First, exclusive, episode 38. It took me 38 weeks to think of one. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, why do you look nervous? <laughs> like, do you have it or not? What do you, why are you sure, like, because like, like, you literally were just like this. You're like, all right, well, uh, like he's doing that thing. He said, all right, um, it's like, is this a, should I be worried? It's a live show exclusive. No one yeah. knows about this. Should the... I be worried? Uh, so the question, all right, go for it. No, I'm actually nervous. I don't know how to say this. Um, go for it. I'm sweating, dog. I'll, Help you, I guess. You can't. Uh, well, I always do. So help yourself with your foot first. Yeah, how okay. about you go get that I'll, taken I'll care of? I'll help you and and put you in rehab or something of some sort. Like you need to show him nothing but animals and how devastating they are in their true <laughs> habitats. Try to change his mind. Okay. Um, all right. What do you think you have a better chance of surviving? Okay, easy. I will bring straight logic. Would you rather be trapped? In a mall, closed doors, you can't get out. You're trapped in a mall for 24 hours. Do you think you have a better chance of surviving a gorilla or seven black mambas? I think the answer is easy. I would agree with you. Okay. What's your answer? What do you have a better chance of surviving? The gorilla or the seven black mambas? Do they just happen to be in there or are they like actively searching? They're actively hunting you. Their black, job is black to get... mambas. Easy. Completely wrong answer. That might be the dumbest answer, actually. That might be the most wrong answer you could have said in that situation. You're kidding. You are kidding me. I will argue this point to my last breath, and it is a simple argument. You are kidding me. I will shut you down. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm trying. <laughs> I, could, I could for sure... Survive a gorilla? No, you can't. Because no, you can't. Listen, listen to my ex explanation. You can't see where the black mamas are at. You don't know. I can know where that gorilla is. That's where he is. I need to avoid that. He's he's away from me. He's right there. I could be going to get a soda pop out of a vending machine. Boom! Black mamba in your hand, dead. You know what I mean? If your agenda is getting soda pops, it's just called soda. <laughs> if you're going to a damn mach a, a machine in the middle of hunting, fighting for your life for 24 hours to get a drink. Gotta hydrate. Then you already are, you suck. You already suck at survival. You know how you said you can see the gorilla? He can see you back and he is going to end you. He is going to end yeah, you. Yeah, but, but- We are talking about a lowland silverback gorilla. That is nothing to play with. Black Mama, nothing to play with. The fact that there's seven of them, that sucks. Exactly. However, that gorilla is gonna, 
he's gonna he is going to come after you that gorilla is probably equivalent to the strength of like I, like two like two world class strong men athletes but listen to me listen to what like i got to half say. thor b johnson like him eddie hall that's what a gorilla is <gasps> okay but you he would he would grab you in nothing you could do listen though listen to these two scenarios i'm in h m right i can see why are you shopping <laughs> you're, you're, you're what, what do you what, what is your agenda okay i open the cash register h m boom black mama why right there are you are you checking someone out is it? Is there a fifteen thousand more people in the mall? If I'm trapped in a mall trying to survive, I'm grabbing what's in there. I'm grabbing the money. If you're looting while trying to survive, what? You are a. You, it's not looting. It's for survival. You, you can buy pack. You are a simple-minded fool. If you're, lo you are a lunatic. You are a looting lunatic loser. If you looting looting lunatic loser, Larry is who you are. If you are trying to get money in soda when there's beasts, a a gorilla. <laughs> A gorilla! But you, the gorilla can't hide. Silver, he's not trying to hide. He's trying to kill you. No, but what if he's going for a stealth attack? A, then he's going to win. No, but he can't because he's big. A, a black mamba, seven of them. One comes from the ceiling right now. Done for. Done for. I'm going to be constantly you go, moving. You go to the bathroom. Hours. You go to the bathroom. You sit down to take a potty. Boom, right there. Mamba on the bottom. Hey, if it's for my life, I don't have to pee. I'll hold that forever. I, was, I said I was sitting though. Forever. You sit when you pee. <laughs> no, what, what are you talking in the comfort of my own home if I'm lazy, you want to be on my phone? Sure. Nasty. That's it. I don't, I'm not doing any, who's behind this? <laughs> Who Someone's come? back there. I'm not doing anything but surviving. I'm not eating. I'm not drinking. Damn sure then, not looting. Then you won't make it long. You'll get tired. You won't make it long. You'll get the money. I'm not looting. I'm getting money for survival. To go buy like survival packs. Oh, cause there's just gonna be a, a cashier. What? Oh, can't can't get. There's a gorilla behind you. I can't give you that though. That'd be fifty dollars. <laughs> no one else is in there. Can we can we agree on that? No one else is in the mall. No, it's you and a, and a silverback gorilla or seven Why black mamas. Why are you grabbing money? Let's, maybe for Why a, are you doing it? To, to for to buy a souvenir after I survive. <laughs> the, <laughs> you suck. Cause I can survive the gorilla. Dude. I'll survive that easy peasy lemon squeezy. He would literally grab you and rip your arm off of your body oh my like God. like you were playing with a sick like a, a three-year-old okay but i he would grab you like i could grab dragon okay He'd be like this but he can't grab me if i know where he's at dude he can't get to me if i know where he's at he's okay, not he can't off, hide first off you can hear boom, doo, 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 coming from a mile away he's not gonna stop okay but i can hide i can run he i can't can run hide. from a black mama that i don't know where it's the at black mama's gonna go I, I, you can't hear it. You first can't off, see it. You don't my, know where it's first at. First off, in my mind, all seven of them are in a pack. Are they in a pack? Or no, they they're dispersed? separated. They're, they're that stealthy. changes my answer a little bit. Thank you. But thank you. I'd still go Black Mamba. We're talking about a a I'm, literal beast. I've never seen someone this so goes back to like chicken and lion. Don't do that. Don't do that. This I, is a don't gorilla. Do that. I've never seen someone so confident in being wrong. A, ditto. <laughs> this is a gorilla. Seven black. Mambas that I you are understand. stealth attacking you. You can't. You'll never have peace, dude. With it, a gorilla, you'll have I'm, peace. That's what I'm saying. You can. You can't outrun a gorilla because you're hip. First off, what? Okay, what are you? What are you doing? But second, the gorilla. Like, there's no. I'm gonna run to the other side of the mall and hide and hope he just gets distracted. You said they're actively coming after you. So answer me this: What is faster, gorilla, snake? I've I've never raced them. Okay, you're about to get hit. <laughs> A gorilla's faster. You don't know a that. Snakes? Are you? You're kidding me. You're kidding in a hundred meter dash. All right, Usain Bolt. A I've gorilla seen fast snakes. You're a fast snake. You're a snake. You're a slimy. Oh my god. A gor You just comment. I hope to. I okay, listen. I could be in the mall. I'm on the carousel. Boom. Black Mamba. You can't do anything in Why peace. Why are you on a? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you on the carousel? Okay, but just say I have free time. I don't know, but just, it's a you hypothetical. You are surviving. You are fighting for dear life. It's a hypothetical. Dude, the only shot you have at beating that gorilla is that there's a gun store in the mall, and you break it, get the gun, get the ammo, and you... That's the only shot. I think I'm, I'm right in this, and the people will agree with me. It's, it's fine to be Dude, wrong. You're wrong. Black Mamba is not going to sit there, jump up, Bite me, go 20, 30 miles an hour. Like, a, a, what are you doing? Why are you sniffing yourself? And why does it smell bad? It's like, did I, you bathe? When I get.
Or are you going to wait to do that in the mall, too, and then you're downtime? Hit the shower. When I get anxious, I secrete an odor. It's like an anxious odor. Odor. Yeah, you're secreting the anxious odor. Are you pissing me off? You're thinking about a gorilla. We're, are you pissing me off? We're, you. we're, we're getting Vukum on the podcast. He's you're pissing me off. He's going to grab you and destroy you. We'll, uh, we'll get, should we ask Vukum? Dude, a gorilla has no remorse whatsoever. It's fine, dude. Whatever. Like, those snakes would just be, like, kind of chilling. I mean, I get they're actively coming after you, too, but, dude. No, come right. on. Sorry, we can ask Vukum. We'll ask Vukum. All right. This guy. You suck. This guy. Dude, you suck. Let's just shake it out. Let's end on a good note. What oh, when we do a live show, it's confirmed that me and Kim are going to wrestle with oils. That's not. That's never been confirmed. Don't believe him for a second. Shake. Pinky shake. Don't. You just talk to me like a damn Labrador. Pinky <laughs> shake. 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 Oh, yeah. See you. See you in a second, Vukum. Come here, buddy. The You Should Know Podcast. Oh, we got Vukum in the studio right now. Vuk. Big Vu. 11-9, done. No, 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 11-6. No, I, I can't. Come on, There's no you're point. Taking, There's you're no taking point. all the juice out of it. 11, 7, 50. No, you know me. That's on. it. Let's go. Let's go. We're not nickel no and diamond. No, there's no box. No, come on. You have to leave a little room. I don't want Give me the watch. Okay. Thank you. Hey, go ahead. 150 bucks. You can't make no, the deal no, happen. It's like all the business we do. You can't come up $150. No, come fine. on, man. No, you're good. You have to leave Thank a little you. room. Nope. Oh, my God. Oh, you actually want to close 11, 9? Okay, 11, 9, my Thank you. It's like tough, man. All right. I'll write so, it down. Dog doesn't come with it, man. How much for the dog? <laughs> Which one do you want us to call you? Vukum, Tyler? Tyler's good. Tyler's, Tyler's good. good. He's, he's can, a man. I, can I just say something before we start? Like yes. We started already. Yeah, it's going. But why did you fist bump him and not me? So that was, I'm not going to lie, that was kind of shitty. That was it's, I literally looked over to make sure you gave him the same, but you did. didn't. The way my hand. No, we, no. Nice. Gonna, yeah, just keep it there. Let's, let's enjoy it real quick. Let's okay. transfer everything. The fact that he's going along I with it, it, I don't. I, love it. I was expecting like some, you know. It. He's some, like, he's like, hey, just get the hell yeah. off. Oh no, I'll tell you one thing though. When I went to, I don't know what the place was called, Poppy Steak or some shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the guy tried feeding me, and I was taking <laughs> a video, and as he was feeding me, I'm like, hey yo, and I stopped the video. And I posted on my story, all my followers were just ragging on me. Like, yo, you let a grown man feed you, but I didn't. I stopped him. I said, hey, yo. And it's in the video. You can hear me say it. Hey, yo. So, what was he trying? Like, how did he? Was it by hand? Was there a fork involved? Bro, it was a gloved hand trying to That's feed sick. Me. That's sick. I, I'm not going to lie. Depending on how good the steak was, might have ate the meat. Bro, yeah, he's lucky my security wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> so... You've been in Dallas for like a day now. How has your experience in Dallas been so far? All the way from... New York. Okay. Uh, the flight, you guys don't know. Well, obviously, you do know because of the elevator. You saw me freaking out. Yeah. The yeah. Uh, I have an irrational fear of heights. Don't know why, but the flight, was. I was tweaking the whole time. <laughs> uh, it was, it, I don't know. It was like bouncing. And then on the landing, as we were descending, the flight went like, it, there was some pop. Like a weird uh, never hear never yeah. should be a pop on a no. plane. Weird pop, and, and it was in the center, right under my seat. Oh yeah, no, grab so grab looked, the oxygen. I looked at him, and I'm like, bro, <laughs> he's like, I don't know. Like, all right. You just hit the prayer. That's all yeah. you can yeah, do. I forgot one. about it like two seconds later. I was like, all right. he's just like, what the hell is it? Uh, <laughs> just right. I have a, I have a bad plane experience too. Uh, this was going to be a story time for another podcast, but I'll just say it here. In short, we're on like not a private plane, but one of those small planes that mm -hmm. looks like it holds cargo mm -hmm. type oh God. type How'd that on humans shouldn't be on. Like yeah. there was no, you know, the, the tube that you walk in to get in the yeah. plane. No tube. You no just tube. walk up. Walk it, it's a bad plane. Like you can see the screws holding the seats oh, to the yeah. floor. Yeah. It's oh. like, real, how do they secure that? Like, real bad. Sure no bad people are getting on that thing. <laughs> it seems like it was like built in 1985 and they're just like refurbishing it every two years. Oh God. Like it's that kind. But I was nervous. A lot of turbulation going on. <laughs> The, the, a lot of clouds. It was like in and out clouds, so you could see stuff, mm. then see nothing. No, it was my brother's uh, first flight ever. This is oh, like God. my like no. second or third. So I was still a little nervous. Mm. My brother has vertigo. I don't know if you know what that is. Vertigo. Yeah, yeah. So he, okay. he gets dizzy, is. can't really. So I, I was trying to calm him down. He got real nervous, real anxious, and I was like, Preston, I was like, you got to keep it together. And then he was at one point, he was in a ball, a grown man in a ball, and Fetal I, position. I felt bad because that's my brother. But uh, you're also laughing, taking a video. Yeah, 100. percent And so the only option that I could think to help mm -hmm. was alcohol. Yeah, but no, that sometimes not a good idea. Yeah, it started getting real sick. Mm -hmm. Then oh. the vertigo oh. started to kick in for my brother. At one point, he waved down flight attendant. Flight attendant came, 
asked if the plane was upside down in all seriousness. <laughs> asked if the, I was impressed. You could have asked me that. Like, what do you think is going on here? What, yo, are you no, strapped in like a you're, roller coaster? You're looking, you're looking out the window and, and you see the... It's like this. Like, what are you doing? And so you had a you had a troubling flight. A little little shaky. A, little, a pop. Not a little. A pop. There was there was shaking. There was a pop. There was a snap crackle pop. Not sponsored. And it, I don't know. I, four hours also. Usually Miami's two, two and a half maybe. Okay. Yeah. But no, nah, I don't think I'll be back here on the flight. I'll drive. I'll drive like, before I Absolutely fly. not. I don't even want to go back to Jersey. Seriously, you guys are laughing. I don't want to go back. He's like, no, no, no. Driving, like, yeah, dead serious. I will rent a car. I don't care. I'll drive that. I couldn't do, especially at our stature. Like, I just yeah, hell that's no. I have like a four hour threshold in a car. Mm. My hip already got a bad hip. Oh, hip starts just aching. <laughs> knees. It's I gotta get out. Just yeah. give me the plane. If there's if there's a, if if it's a rice crispy plane, snap, crackle, pop, <laughs> whatever. You know, as long as I land, it's all right. No, we'll, we'll make bad it. bad hip is an understatement. Like okay. we'll be like anywhere. <laughs> okay. Every ten seconds, like my hip, my okay. hip. The fans always. Is that from being tall? No, that's from one, literally one injury from ba from basketball. You know it's from one injury. It's from, no, he, his hips are perfectly fine. He just didn't go through what that happened to, What about your toe? Okay, that's just a bad toe. Yo, I, I, got, I got fucked up toes now from jujitsu. <laughs> hey, oh, They're I can. Both, I'm not going to show the camera because I charged for that, but it was, they were fucked. They're like, a normal toe is like this, and the toe is, just like the plane was, it, it's twisted. <laughs> Both of them, both big toes, and those are your most important toes. They are. That's the two big hey, toes are the ones you need. He's spitting facts. You gotta have the big toe. <laughs> we got the toe problem podcast. He's now. got. He's got. It. He has a point. You gotta have the toe. What? What? What good do the other four do? Yeah. And, and everybody's asking me too because I sold a watch or I bought a watch from a foot doctor. Okay. And he was like, "Oh, you, uh, you know, the price and, and a free consultation." And I was like, "Yes, please." <laughs> yeah. And everyone in the comments, "Yo." Uh, Vukum's got athlete's foot. Vukum's got this. Vukum. And I, I, I was like, bro, no, my toes just fuck. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. Do you ever had a, a, a bad... Hold on. We're just on a whole, like... Yeah, we're let's explain okay. yeah. what you do. For the people that do not know, mm -hmm. What? who is Vukum? What do you do? T okay. uh, tell us about the TikTok following. I, I heard you're pretty famous. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> uh, so, you're 400,000 now, or 406, but who's counting the exact number? Obviously, it's yeah. 406.2 actually yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah no i have a I have a little following on tiktok mm -hmm. i started that whole live negotiation trend where you know it's two guys i'm just doing what i do uh but i just added a camera there you so, go you know there's, there's really not much difference between a year or a year and a half ago to now mm -hmm. uh the only difference is we have buckley uh young buckley filming so okay. he's doing a fucking fantastic job that yeah, he is. we got to give it up for buckley yeah he is shout out to book Shout out, shout out for the Vook. But so whenever I found you on TikTok, you popped up on my For You page one day and I've never really been into watches because I'm, uh, what's the word? Broke. Yeah. Can't, yeah. can't afford a, a yeah. watch. G-Shocks was my go-to, maybe an Apple yeah, watch. Especially if I was not that fancy. caliber. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. So pipe, pipe dreams. I was just watching and I don't know what it was. It was just so like addicting to watch. And then I just got in a rabbit hole of just Dude, watching your stuff. I swear. And I literally like, no, dis like this isn't anything, but it's like, I was like, I just watched nine negotiations, <laughs> like, yeah. and I, yeah. I will, I can't buy this, but I love this, and yeah. I was just like, just kept yeah. going. I was like, bro, this is this is sick. That's a lot of the comments too. They're like, oh, I'll never buy a watch. I'll never be able to afford a watch, but I'm gonna watch every single. Yeah, every single videos. one, dude. It's, I it's appreciate awesome. everybody that watches. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. For yeah, sure. it was. It's at a point like, I was texting my dad that we were gonna try and have you on the show and he was like oh i love his shit like i watch it all the time and i was like i didn't even know you had a tiktok my, friend, my friend's grandpa the other day he goes down he's in the basement and his grandpa that sounded weird <laughs> he's in the basement his grandpa comes you know strolling down waddling down the stairs Jesus and Christ. he's like oh uh you see this guy on tiktok and he's like bro that's my boy and yeah I, and he texted me right after i'm like yeah Dude, the that's older sick. generation that's older dope. demographic they all of them love them all so from the beginning how do you go from working in a diner to selling luxury watches. Yeah. All right. Well, I googled you. Google. Did that come up on Google? No, nah, just PI. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, <laughs> you know that guy's been following you a couple of years. <laughs> Seen that yeah, van? He's one of ours. <laughs> oh, that's you guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna shoot back at him. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. No, I've I've always been like, I guess you would call it a hustler, a grinder. Um, you know, I I don't know. I've always loved money. I don't know what it is. I've always loved making money and. People think that it's it's 
a passion that I have a passion for horology, which is why, like, the, you know, watches and the movement. I would have thought it was a religion. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Uh, yeah. Some people do, or a fear of something. Like yeah, fear <laughs> of, like yeah. big toes. Horology like, one hundred and one. Yeah, but Jeez. I thought no, it was a degree. It's, it's just I really enjoy the the hustle or the grind of, of of just going in there and you know turning five dollars into six and and just doing it on repeat. Bro. So, yeah, I was uh, thirteen. I want to say thirteen, fourteen. Probably, probably closer to 13. And I was working at a flea market. That's okay. when I first got my, my first real job. And it was only on Saturdays and Sundays. It was for a Hasidic guy named Raymond. So he would drive from Brooklyn every day to this Jersey flea market. And he sold mirrors and like cabinets and heavy shit. Okay. So what I would do is I would go there at 6.30, 7 a.m. I'd have mm -hmm. my dad drive me. And my dad's not Buckley, by the way. I know I'm breaking the internet by, by yeah. saying that. Exclusive! Yeah, it was an <gasps> headline. Oh, my God. But, uh, Buckley, yeah, no, not father. My, my, dad, my dad would drive me. Uh, he would drop me off. I'd be in this flea market with crackheads, ex-cons. All me. walks of life. Yeah. All, no, bro. You All walks. You haven't lived till you worked in a flea market at 14, 13 years oh, old. Oh, God. I can only imagine. But, yeah, so I started. That was my first real job okay. was the flea market. And it was for the guy named Raymond. And I would unload the truck in the morning, watch all of his shit during the day, and get paid, sell shit, get paid, and then pack it all back up into the truck at, not night, it was probably like 4 p.m. is when I got out. Okay. Um, and then he'd, drive, he'd pay me and he'd drive off. And I would do that twice a weekend for probably a year. From there, I went to this guy named Dwayne. Dwayne was a big black guy. Um, and still my boy from this day, I just walk, I'm 14, 15 years old, years old at this point. I walk up to him, I'm like, yo, like I see you're hustling these, you know, these beats that he was selling beats okay. and iPhones and phone cases. And I'm like, can I work for you? Cause I didn't want to be lifting shit anymore. I, I was <laughs> you're like, you know, one year in 14 years old. I'm already fed up. <laughs> I'm retired. My back, my back's just given out. I need yeah, to know. Yeah. So, uh, he's like. Hell yeah, man. Like, whatever. Like, come come through. So he's like, you want to work now? I'm like, fuck, sure. Yeah. So he's like, cool. Sits me down. He's like, all right, watch my shit. J just met him. He's like, watch my shit. I'm like, okay. Didn't ask him what he was going to pay me. Didn't ask, didn't give a shit. So he comes back and he's like, okay, like, this is what we're doing here. And he's basically just showing me, like, how to buy and sell phones. And from that point, for, till I was like 17, I was working for him uh, or with him too because, you know, he was teach. He taught me a lot about how to run a business and yeah. how to operate things and and go out there and buy an iPhone, sell an iPhone. So that's how I made money when I was younger. Obviously, I worked other jobs because you can't work a real job yeah. uh, in Jersey. And I think it's until you're six. No, yes, six, sixteen. Isn't that the same here? I think sixteen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then my next job was at a day camp. I would work at a day, this, this is where it gets nuts. Like, this is like, okay, Tyler is a fucking hustler. Yeah. I was working at a day camp during the day, um, in the summertime. I would work at a day camp. Uh, then I would go to, which actually, fuck that, bleep, bleep that name out. Okay. That's the company, that's the, they were an indoor amusement park, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I worked there from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. So I would go to the camp and work there from, I think it was 8 until... 4 30 then i would go from 6 to 11 and work at this indoor amusement park i'm not saying your name <laughs> um and then on the weekends i would go to the flea market and work with Dwayne. so at that point i was 16 just years grinding. old, just yeah. really grinding trying insane. to get my bread up um that's dope you know i don't know why i don't <laughs> i really don't know why i wanted money so bad but you know i didn't grow up poor like, right. Usually like that, I feel like that would be the effect of, of someone who grew up poor. They would want to to really get their money. up. Yeah. Like switch up, get a different, exactly. like have yeah. a different yeah. life. Yeah. You I know? didn't yep. grow up rich, though. Like I yeah. grew up just regular middle class. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's my story. And then after that summer, that was the summer going into my senior year of high school. So after that summer, I got a job as one of the camp kids that I had loved me. So he had his mom contact me and uh, she wanted me to babysit him. Okay. So I was babysitting this little shit. Uh, <laughs> I was babysitting this, this kid from, I, I would get out of school, I could drive at this point. Mm -hmm. I would get out of school, I would drive over to, to his house. He was probably 10 minutes away from my high school. 
and I would drive over to his house, babysit the kid for like three hours. After that, I would head over to a diner where I worked at. Okay. Not going to mention the name. <laughs> um, no free clout today. There you but go. It was in Marlboro, New Jersey. Okay. And I worked at the diner. And from there, actually, I liked I liked them there. Mal, um, the Mal, the Marlboro Diner is what it's called. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, no, that you guys leave that in. Uh, if you're in Marlboro, New Jersey, they're a great diner. Um, ne- it's next to it's next to like a motel where okay. they just sell massive amounts of coke. <laughs> nice. And you, you know you get the the fucking freaks walking in and out. And, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, hey, uh, can I get a burger? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Literally. And you're just like, oh, all and right, guy. Like, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're just vibing. Yeah. And you're working with crackheads because. <laughs> You know, oh, th- this is a good story. Okay. Actually, I can't tell this story. Okay, great. Well, it, it was a good the story. One. I'll tell you guys later. <laughs> okay. um, I'm trying to think. Can I tell it? No, I can't. <laughs> but yeah, so I was working with you know guys who were doing drugs and shit, and from that in the flea market, it's just you see like all walks of life. Yeah, at a yeah. young age, it's pretty cool. So you kind of get good experience. So I was doing the babysitting, head head over to the diner, and then from the diner, uh, I would get home probably around 11 p.m. again, same as it was. <sighs> Um, and then the grinding. flea markets on the weekends, but the flea markets when I was a senior uh, in high school, I, I was doing my own thing. So it there wasn't iPhones anymore. I think I did a little bit in the in the beginning of senior year, but it was more so I would go around and buy clothes for like ten cents, ten cents a piece, and I'd buy hundreds of them, and I'd bring them into the flea market in my dad's truck, um, in in the jeep, and <laughs> yeah, <Hell> yeah. <laughs> I would bring them in the trunk of the jeep. I'd get a table. I'd, I'd put the, I'd put like a nice little cloth on the, on that shitty fucking table in the flea market, <laughs> and uh, I'd just lay them out. I'd make it look as shitty as possible because people think that they're getting a bargain. Right. And I would scream Genius. all day. Dollar clothes, dollar clothes, one dollar. T-shirts, there's socks, there's there's uh, shorts, sweatpants, okay. whatever. There was all different types of clothes there. So you know that was I was literally turning ten cents into a dollar at that point. And, Dude, yeah. and that see that right there is what people like. So many of like the younger generation now mm-hmm. thinks they have to go straight to f- like making two hundred dollars a sale, yep. five hundred dollars. I'm like, dude, you don't even know. like this man just said he was getting nine hundred percent profit margin. Yeah, he's spending a dime, getting a dollar. Yep, and you think like you have to go straight to making a thousand on a single sale. I'm like. Mm-hmm. That's like that right there. That's genius. And that's just work ethic and yeah. literally nose down and you grinding. Know that was helping me pay because at that point. Uh, I got a Honda, a Honda Civic. It was Dude, just, shout out Civics. Yeah, Civics are lit. And <laughs> Civics I got, are lit. Civics are lit. We could leave that in there. Not sponsored, but the <laughs> Civics are fucking dope. But yeah, no. So, you know, I, I, I bought a Civic. I didn't buy it. I had to lease it under my mom's name. So it was paying for the Civic because my mom was paying for it the, like on paper. Mm-hmm. And I would just give her the cash every month plus the insurance. So... Dude, from actually from no. Shorts. At that point, my mom might have covered the insurance, but I was had to pay for the the lease itself, which was probably two fifty a month or two twenty plus gas, and I would use that to get back and forth to work. So from shorts, cool. shirts, socks, like that's yeah. that's what that's insane. That's what people yeah. don't understand. Like, bro, you if you really have it in you, you'll find mm-hmm. anything to do to do it. Yeah. Like that, and that's how I know. Like. This man is grinding till two jobs till 11 p.m. Dude, I was playing Call of Duty like when at that age, and I was yep. just like, I'd get out of school. Oh, I was I'd go play having cut. a good time in high school though. Too. Yeah. So back to your to the business that you're in now. I know it's a a, a raging question: is what is a vukum? <laughs> where where did you get a vukum from? Where, yeah. What is a vukum? <laughs> I love that question. Um, so I was 19 years old, okay, and I had to think of a new name for this business. Okay. So I sat down on a laptop, drunk. There you go. No, seriously, this is how I had to do it. I had to be creative. Um, so I sat down on a laptop by myself in an office that I was paying for at 19 years old. High overhead. I was an idiot. So I had to think of a new name. So I'm sitting down, I'm like thinking of random words. The, the purpose of this is I didn't want, when you Google Vukum back then, nothing was coming up, mm. right? So I said, I want to get something. I want to get a name that nothing is going to come Just up. me. A high, yeah. high Just SEO, a high yeah. search exactly. engine optimization. Yeah. Yep. Like so, there's one Vukum and yeah. it's going to be me. Exactly. Yeah. Like you could, you know, you could look up so, some random watch company. It's like, oh, uh, you know, flipping time. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, <laughs> I, that's he laughing. He laugh. He's like, he's like if, if somebody, if somebody's called flipping time. I am sure there is. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like if you, if you looked it up, uh, nobody knows what that is. 
Um, Genius, again. Yeah, so I just, you know, I sat down and I'm just looking shit up. And, you know, one, one random word. I'm, I'm not using a random word generator, by That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, Bree, a lot of like, people ask yeah. me that. So, no, this was all out <laughs> all of the like, brain. This is <laughs> off the nugget. Yeah. So, it was, you know, just nah, 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 type it in. Something came up. Like, fuck. Something else. Nah, something came up. And then I'm just like, voodoo, voodoo. <laughs> and I'm like, vukum. And I'm like, Vuk. where did that come from? Type it in. Nothing's coming up. Nothing. So, I'm like, that's he's, my He's name. like, that's sick. Yeah. That's crazy, though. Like, v- just... Vukum, like I, it I sounds could never, good though. It no, sounds it great. It sounds real, like it is now, obviously. But like even yeah. just vukum, it sounds like a thing. If yeah. that makes sense. Can you give make a definition of vukum on the show right now? Make a definition. A of definition of, of, of the vukum. Top. Off the dome. Off yep. the dome. Watch flipping. There you go. <laughs> there you go. What vukum? The, so Webster's will be will be hitting you up. <laughs> yeah. Can someone hold on? Can someone make a definition of vukum for me, please? Like anybody. There you go. Please. Somebody. <laughs> like, just like, do it. Yeah, that's action. Get it done. Help. Yeah, that's your job. Please make help. it happen. <laughs> so, when did you get the idea to do what your daily job was flipping watches? That's what you were doing. When did you get the that's idea? Oh yeah, we have to, to transition into that because it, it in. didn't just happen. Okay. So okay, this is a new story in its own. Uh, so you know, senior year, I'm doing three different things at once, right? And the year is approaching to an end fast i'm applying for colleges because you know my parents they really wanted me to go to college i was gonna be the first person in my family to graduate college Mm -hmm. i was going to be the first person in my family (laughs) to graduate college but um so i'm applying to colleges i get accepted to probably like two or three out of five of them that i applied to um i end up going to this place called stockton university Mm -hmm. but before i get there we have summertime and i was like you know I'm really, as, as, we're, as we're approaching the summer, I'm like, I don't really want to go to college. I do not want to go to college. I do not want to work for somebody. I do not want, I just didn't want to. You know, no hate on people who do. It's right. just, I can't do it. I cannot sit in a de- at a desk in an office and smile at people I don't like. And <laughs> I don't like that shit. So, you know, and the small office talk is just like. Yeah, and watch everything you say and, and all this shit. So I, it just wasn't for me. So I ended up, you know, uh, I hit up Buckley's dad. Uh, which at, at the time, it was. I should probably like get into how I met him first. Yeah. So I, how did how who is Buckley and how did you meet him? Because he's one okay. of the, like he's a fan favorite. Yeah, of course. Everybody loves Buckley. Yeah. Who is he and how did you meet him? Uh, so that's John Buckley of Tuscany Rose, and he is a watch trading company as well. He mainly focuses on parts though. So mm-hmm. watch parts, mm-hmm. dials, bezels, bracelets, that type of stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, a dial is basically just a face of a watch for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, so that is what he's done for the past 25 years, mm-hmm. something like that, before I was Experience. born. Yeah, very, very, very Goated. fucking he's the, he's the, probably, He is the top dog in the, in, in the industry as far as knowledge goes. Mm-hmm. Um, That's awesome. But yeah, so I'm trying to think. I met James Buckley. James Buckley is the son of John Buckley. I met James Buckley. I was taking a shit. And seriously, this is a story. All right. I was I was seven or eight years old. I was taking a shit in middle, in what elementary school? Is that mm-hmm. elementary? That'd be elementary. And I'm taking a shit. And I guess I forgot to lock the fucking stall door because some motherfucker just comes walking in and he's like, James oh. Buckley, not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like yeah. And I'm just taking a shit and he just walks in and he's staring he's at me. What the fuck you staring at me? So he just turns around and I was like, That was weird. So then, you know, finish finish wiping my ass. And, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, he had to make sure that, that everyone know that he finished. I, I did wipe my ass. Yeah. Uh, contrary to popular belief. <laughs> no, the rumors are spread. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so wipe my ass, wash my hands, obviously. And I leave. Didn't see the kid again for probably two or three days. And then I'm just like, oh, you walked in on me taking a shit. And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, cool. And then we somehow became friends. <laughs> obviously, I was eight so, or seven. My memory is just foggy. Mm-hmm. Um. But yeah, so then started hanging out with them on play dates, they would call them. Yep, yeah. I had a lot of so those. Had play, dates. play dates. It was a great so time. I, I remember going over to his house, right, the first time. And, you know, we're hanging out, we're playing video games, we're hanging out, whatever. And, you know, his mom, Josephine, is very, very, very nice. And she started making me, like, chicken tenders and mac and cheese. I don't know why, but it was lit. <laughs> And um, great cuisine. Was like, yeah. I was in, in my glory. I was yeah. having a blast. And, like, yes. you know, I was saying thank you. And I guess I was really polite because she, 
when my parents came to pick me up, she was like, oh, your son is so polite, whatever. And then my parents and Josephine started talking. And then I, I guess John came home from work. Uh, and then they just became friends. So from there, that's how I met James Buckley. And that's how I met John Buckley, too. Okay. Yeah. And then obviously, you know, the years go on and they're family friends at this point. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. How impactful was Buckley to your career now? Oh, extremely. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very impactful. Um, obviously, without him, I wouldn't be doing watches at all. Uh, I know I'd be doing something yeah. that didn't involve working for anyone. I knew I know I would I would be doing, you know, a social media marketing agency, which I could get into that. That was a failed business of mine when I was 18 or 19 years old. Um, but yeah, without Buckley, th there would be no Vukum. So, mm. shout big, out to Buckley. Yeah. big shout out to Buckley. So how? So what? What was the like? When did it become instead of Buckley just being in your corner mm -hmm. helping you guidance and stuff? When did it switch to watches? Like when did you express that? Like you know, so, I can. I can oh, see now watches. we can jump so. back to the story. Um, so the college is fast approaching. I get accepted. I say yes to Stockton University. Like I'm some basketball player. I, I, I accepted. Their <laughs> I accepted offer. scholarship. Yeah. So, yeah. So. Uh, Summer is approaching. It's probably around May or June, and school in Jersey doesn't end until June fifteenth, June twentieth, like that. So uh, I'm like, "Yo, mm. fuck. I'm like, we gotta, we gotta do something here. I, I'm not, I'm not feeling school. I know I don't want to go to school, and I, I know that, you know, I know you're a successful entrepreneur, and I want to just come shadow you, come work for you. And he's like, "Sure, hell yeah." So I started going into the city with him uh, during that summer. At first, it's a lot of, you know, go get a coffee, go get us a coffee, go get us this food, mm -hmm. go take this watch and bring it to this guy, go grab money from that guy, bring it to me, go pick up a check, go drop a check off in the bank, whatever. Right. Um, and then towards the end of the summer, he would give me a watch. And I always mention that this $1,900 ladies date just watch because this is the first watch I ever made money on. He gives me a $1,900 uh, ladies date just, a steel ladies date just. And he's like, get me $1,900. I don't care what you sell it for. Go sell it for more. So I'm like, cool, take the watch. I go, uh, one exchange. An exchange is just one big building with probably 20 different businesses inside. And they're all watch dealers or jewelers okay. or diamond dealers. Mm -hmm. uh, so I walk up to one guy. Hey, I got this watch. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck out. <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> the next guy. <laughs> all right. All right. Next guy. And, you know, just went down the line. Resilient, yeah. Nobody wanted it. Next building. And there's, I don't know how many different buildings on the street, 47th Street. Um, so, you know, finally I hit somebody and I'm like, yo, give me, you know, $2,100 for this thing. He's like, no, <laughs> He's like, I'll give you 18. And then we just, you know, negotiated obviously. And, uh, we, uh, we got to 1950. So he gave me 1950, bring it back to Buckley. And I'm like, this is what I got. He's like, okay, I told you, you know, 1900, you keep your 50. Okay, cool. Next watch, uh, a, um, a president head, a, a president a president 1803 president head i just remember now it's just i just remember this shit okay but that's dope that was the second watch i sold he's like get me six grand i'm like cool walking around the street do the exact same process mm -hmm. sell it make 200 bucks sell it for 6200 make 200 bucks i'm like yeah i'm a watch dealer <laughs> yeah. yeah and then this is real yeah oh, it was real mm -hmm. and then the summer ended just mm -hmm. like that i'm like fuck so i remember going to going to dinner with him and little buckley and I'm like, yeah, like, I know I'm dropping out. I'm going for a three-week vacation. And I'm going for a semester for yeah. a vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know why I'm still going. He's like, yeah, listen, the college isn't for everybody, but we're always here if you want to come back. So went to college, had a great time for three weeks. <laughs> I walked down to the front desk. I'm like, yo, I want to drop out. They're like, oh, God, are you serious? Uh, <laughs> they're like, oh, what's wrong? They're panicking. I'm like, bro, yeah. I want to drop out. I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. They're like, okay, fine. I'm gonna go to this place i'm like fine i go i want to drop out okay you owe four or five thousand i don't know forty five hundred we'll call it on your student loan how are you paying it do you want to take payments every month i'm like no here give him my debit card boom pay it wiped clean that, that was all my money i had at the time so i was like fuck so then i called my mom up i'm like yo i just <laughs> dropped out she's like what i'm like i'm like yo i just dropped out she's like get the fuck out of here and then I heard, I heard my dad, oh, is that Todd? And, I, and my mom's like, yeah, he just dropped out of school. And my dad's going fucking berserk. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't want to go home. Yeah. yeah, can't go home. So they picked me up, and the car ride back was very silent. Mm. I bet. I was like, oh, 
God. Like, just, just looking out the window. Just, yeah, uh, just like, oh, you see that tree? <laughs> it's shape, like, tree. I like that building. Sure. So, yeah, so we get home, and obviously after a couple of days, they just accepted it. And, you know, they, they were, you know, never never doubtful of, of what I was going to do. They, they were very supportive of, you know, like, okay, I, I get it. Um, so that's the story of how I got out of college. And then from there, you know, I was – it's probably around November time. I try to go back into the city with Buckley and I'm just, for some reason, I'm just not feeling it. It was just, it's a lot of no's and you know, you get turned down all day long and it's like, fuck, like mm-hmm. maybe, maybe this isn't for me. Let me go try this. So I leave, I go try something else, I go try something else. And I'm still kind of dabbling in the watches and, and jewelry, right. like very, very minor, not, mm-hmm. you, you know, you're not making, you know, thousand dollars a month, but maybe like 500 bucks a month or, 200 bucks on a, like just for this or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so at this point, some guy tried recruiting me for some multi-level marketing scheme. Um, not going to name it. Uh, I'm doing that. I'm, I'm delivering pizzas at night and making probably like a hundred bucks a night with that. That was decent. Like just to yeah. keep me afloat, pay my gas and shit and my car bill. But yeah, so that happened. And then I think, oh, and then I got a real job like where you have to dress up. Probably around March, I want to say March. Mm-hmm. We'll dry, we have to dress up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I had to dress <laughs> up. So, no, nah, I, I learned a lot of shit. It was a cold calling agent. It was a marketing Oof. agency, yeah. And I ended up, for some reason, I had some sick fuck talent of, of just cold calling. And I became number two in the whole company. I got promoted within two months. All these older heads were hating on me because they were working there for pennies. And yeah, 20 just, years and they can't even, you just no, walk right yeah, in. Yeah, that is. There were people there uh, 10 years, 5 years, 15 years. And, they're still working the same position that I just got promoted from. Damn. So they're like, look at this little 19 or 18 year old shithead that just <laughs> yeah. walked up in here. You're just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, <laughs> and then from there, I was like, okay, I have this talent of cold calling, you know, fuck working for someone. I am going to try to do this on my own. I'm going to open up a social media marketing agency. Well, that was short lived. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did that. I was really, really good at getting sales. Like, I was a sicko. I'm like, oh, yeah. on the phone, I set the in-person meeting so I could show them what I can do for them. Um, I would show them my results because I was doing it for some real estate agents at the time. And, you know, the results, I was getting a lot of leads, but I guess they weren't quality leads. So clients just started dropping off, dropping off. Okay. And then, you know, when it didn't, it never really fully failed. It just got very slow. And I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's try watches again. And then I call Buckley up. I'm like, yo, we're, I'm committed here. We're doing this. Like, I am not going to stop until I make Breach doing this. And then we start. And that, that's, yeah, that was probably three years ago that, that I had that conversation with him. I'm like, yo, I'm coming back. Okay. When did you decide to make the decision to do the live negotiations on TikTok? When did you make that? Okay. Um, so the whole business is very, you know, very sketchy. Yeah. Not sketchy, but I don't want to make it sound like that. Um, but either these guys don't want their faces on camera for obvious reasons mm-hmm. or, you know, they, some, some other people don't want for, um, you know, just for safety reasons. Um, you know, it, there's a whole lot of, lot of shit that goes into it, but, um, I just, I started filming picture, uh, videos of watches. I'd take the watch like this and I'd film it and I'd be like, POV, you're, you're buying this watch for your sister for, for, for $9,500. And, I would take another watch, POV, you're buying this. And they were just POV videos of just nine second clips of a watch, just like this. Okay. And I would just like POV and I would make like outrageous statements. Like, yeah. You're buying this after your sister fucking beat the shit out of you and, <laughs> and you want to apologize. Yeah. Some stupid shit. And you know, that got me probably like a thousand followers. And then from there, I'm like, okay, how can we make this better? Started doing like these short clips with music in the background, that hype music, like 15 second clips of just my day. Mm. So it'd be like me driving a car and then like me in the city walking and then, you know, a watch and a watch and, mm-hmm. and, a, and a fist bump. And then that would be it. Yeah. And it, those did okay. And that got me probably to four or 5,000 followers. And then I'm like, how can we really make this shit interesting? Yeah, just next level. Yeah. I was like, what are we doing every day that we can just, you know, add a camera to? And I'm just like, let's film one of my negotiations. So I remember buying the first one I ever did. I was buying a, it was a white, a white aftermarket dial Datejust, two tone Datejust, and I just Buckley's like, all right, let's do it. Well, James, and he just starts filming, and 
that was the first video. That one probably got, well, it actually got taken down first. For what? Um, illegal activities and illegal goods. Was it on TikTok? They got yeah. taken down? Uh, yeah, see, TikTok does that. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, actually, somebody commented some shit, and I used to go back and forth with the comments because I didn't know that they had that much power. They could just click a button and, like, report. This is, like, if you have smaller audience. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're a bigger account, that won't work. Yeah. I learned that because yeah. now I go back and forth. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you have, like, 10,000, 20,000 followers, all they have to do is just click. They get, like, five of their friends to report one video. That video is it's done. gone. Yeah. yeah. I Deuces. got back, though. Uh, so yeah, it started blowing up. I posted at probably 8 p.m. And by 11 p.m., I think it had like 50,000 views <sighs> at that time. I was like, oh, I'm famous. Yeah. <laughs> so We made it. And then that one ended up getting to like 1.5 mil or 2 mil. Fuck. So then I just, I was like, okay, that worked. <laughs> yeah. So let's do it again. Yep. So Rinse, do repeat. Do it again, do it again, do it again. And like I said, we're doing this shit anyway. You might as well just film it. Fuck it. So did you, so did you have the same amount of volume before the camera or like once you started putting it on TikTok did like opportunities and more negotiations like start presenting himself? Yeah. So, uh, the, a lot of the business is done online mm -hmm. and it's with, it involves shipping. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's mostly over FaceTime calls, mostly over, well for us at least because we're, we're remote. Uh, we go into the city once or twice, maybe twice, maybe, but usually once a week. And you know, it's, it's just, not gonna lie, I just completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> Love it. Um, what was the question again? So, did TikTok bring you more? Oh, that was it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, like it's, once it's you started all posting, online. it's all through Facebook groups and and uh, WhatsApp groups, Telegram, mm. like that. And you know that that's how I was doing business. And then when I would go to the city, I would sell shit to the same five, 10, 20 people. No, that's not, not twenty, fifteen. Mm -hmm. Same people pretty much every time you're selling watches to, but I was really just buying them online. Mm -hmm. uh, once in a while, I'd buy in the city. But when, once I started posting, people wanted to be in videos more. So yeah. I guess in order to, to be in a video, they would have to do a deal with me. So they would have to say yes to yeah. what I was saying. That leverage is... There you go. Yeah. yeah. And they, they would always make it interesting, which was awesome. It was like a natural thing. They knew like that, that to get views, there had to be a back and forth. It can't just be like, here's a watch. They're like, Okay. Yeah. It's got to be like no. In video. It. Yeah. Exactly. And we just go back and forth, and they're they're all great on Forty Seventh Street. They all they all got it. They all understood the task at hand. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, that's dope. Uh, one of my boys, Mike, on the street, he'll he'll be walking. And people recognize him from my videos, and he, then he then uh, other people in his exchange started like noticing like guys would come in. Be like, yo, yo, you're the guy. And, okay. And then they would be like, yo, they would hit me up like, yo, like, can can we do a video? But like, yeah, sure. And do a video with them and then it just snowballed but that's the thing so since your i guess clout i guess that's the word we we'll use since your clout has gone up from TikTok, everybody knows you as the luxury watch dealer has that brought a security issue because i'm assuming that if everybody in new york or new jersey everybody knows who you are and what you do yeah. i would be kind of like yeah well we always had security before this uh as far as in the on 47th street okay but uh now yes we do have armed guards with us when we're traveling in I mean, we don't even carry shit with us we have no inventory with us but yeah like it's just that i guess maybe people think that we might have a watch on like right now i'm wearing this absolute dog shit date just um and it's only because i'm on here i, <laughs> I just I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's only because I'm on the podcast that I wore a watch. Everyone knows I do not wear watches. You know, if I'm out, I don't want Ooh. someone coming up to me. Like, go. <laughs> yeah, I, like, oh, I love that watch. Like, you're the watch guy. Like, you know, I want people to know that I don't wear watches. If you want to rob me, you're robbing my hundred dollar Lululemon. Brand. <laughs> These things are fire, though. I, I'll connect them. These things, Lululemon, bro. You guys, are you're doing, doing it right. Like, Imagine yeah. getting robbed for your britches. Like yeah. you're just walking around naked. Drop them. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but. Um, <laughs> You know, I feel like anybody who's been watching and they want to rob, they, they know that there's nothing to rob and that it's actually more of a risk for themselves if you get if you get what I'm saying. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. so try it if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. But don't. But don't. Yeah, please don't. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I got this just popped up. I was watching. I'm scared of Buckley a little bit. Really? He seems like an angel of a dude. I've always been like, oh, such a nice guy. I saw one negotiation. It wasn't a negotiation. This kid came in with like, I, I think it was an AP and it was fake. No, oh, the paddock. it was not even that. Some dude, it was a, y'all doing a negotiation and it was 
he said something about fake money. Oh, and he dropped it, the prop, brick of fucking cash yeah, on the table. It was a prop yeah. money. He said, fuck out of here, no prop money over here. And I saw Buckley turn up like that, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm scared of that red. guy. He gets fucking pissed. <laughs> So that, yeah, that guy, I don't know what the fuck he was thinking. That was a stupid thing to say to Buckley. Yeah. You know, that's going to set him off. Yeah. I didn't know he had money on him either. <laughs> he just pulls it out. He just pulled that shit. I don't know if you've yeah. seen the video. It, it was no, amazing. It was, it, was, it was comedy. <laughs> Literally. Do negotiations ever get too heated to where you don't oh, yeah. post them? Yeah. You have to, oh, like, yeah. You have to like cut the camera. Yeah. And uh, like I said, a lot of the business that we're doing, these guys don't want to be on camera. So, you know. You're only seeing a, a small percentage a of the deals really being done. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you get these fucking idiots in my comments that are like, Ooh, how could you live off selling that one watch to that one person? And I'm like, It's like, come on. I'm, I'm just like, Yeah, you're right. You say, <laughs> how about we how about we think? Yeah. I like, just I, I uh, use you. this. You know what? A little I'm sorry. Bit. That's what I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So yeah. Dude. So do you okay, so Another weird question. We're going to switch from the heated negotiation parts. Okay. If you had to tell, so say, say someone's watching this, they don't want to watch and you, like you said, you don't wear them personally, but mm -hmm. if you could recommend a style of watch mm -hmm. or even for someone's first watch, okay. silver, gold, whatever it might be, what would, what mm -hmm. for you would be like, this is just a good staple watch to start your okay. collection that you could just uh, wear. Uh, that's the watch. This is a 16013 Datejust. It's a quick set two-tone Datejust with a plastic crystal. Um, I would suggest this or a 16014, which is the steel version of this. It's, it's all steel. Um, those are the two watches I would recommend for someone who's looking to buy their first watch. Price points under 5,500, under 5,000. Um, I think they're great watches. I just say, listen, get a 16233 Datejust, which is just a newer version of that one, okay. or get a 16013 Datejust. If you like two-tone. Mm -hmm. If you don't like two-tone, I don't like two-tone shit. I don't like it. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. So I, I wear a steel um, if you want a steel watch, you get a 16234, or that's the newer version of the 16014. It probably sounds like I'm speaking in fucking. <laughs> I feel like I'm in they're, a video they're right like, now. Like, yeah, <laughs> they're like, they're, they're coding right now. They're open oh, new tab and they're looking up. Like, what the fuck's going on? How is the, how's the fame been? How many times do you get stopped? I don't know if you call it fame, but. Oh, you're famous. Well, last night was a little weird. Right? <laughs> Can I tell the story? Yeah, yes. we're going out. I went out with my boy Nick over there and uh, Peyton, and then we met some DJ. He started bringing us around everywhere. Uh, so that was cool. And then he got he has security. He hires private security for us. I'm like, oh, shit, I like this guy. Uh, so, yeah, we're walking around from bar to bar, and it's like, oh, yo, oh, you're the watch guy. Let me get a picture. I'm like, my ego is just getting more and more inflated. Right. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I like, I like Texas. I like yeah, it. I like that. I'm going to stay here. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. In Jersey, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, I'll go out to the bars and people will be stopping me. They're like, yo, where's your watch? I'll be like, are you fucking stupid? Like, get the fuck away from me before I pepper spray you. And I will pepper spray someone. Like, I, <laughs> there we go. I, Noted. I clutch on it. When, someone's, when I see someone walking up on me too hot, like, you're a millisecond away from fucking flailing around. <laughs> from your burn. Eyes, yeah, your watch it. But one more step. Take that last yeah. step. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, how do you feel? Because I don't know if this is a fair thing to say correct me if i'm wrong but you are the face of watch negotiations on tiktok is that yeah. fair to say yes 100%. okay buckley and i yeah 100%. how do you feel about this new community of tiktok watch resellers yeah i've uh mixed opinions i have you know i'm glad that i inspired people to go out there and, and try and sell watches i think that's awesome um and you know if, if you want to go try to make money flipping watches Go out there, be my guest, you know, but I don't know. I don't like, I don't like the people copying my video style. Um, you know, it's like, you could do it. You're not going to ever catch up, Yeah. but it, you know, it's just like, I guess it's annoying. I don't know. They say, what's that saying? Uh, what's the thing where you copy someone? It's the most sincere form of fucking flattery. flattery. Oh, flattery. Yeah, yep. we, that yep. sounded good. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't agree with that. <laughs> don't call me like, my yeah, shit. Don't not, call not me a my thing. fucking shit. No, you know, there's some fucking guy on TikTok too. Oh, yeah, let me hear it. He's like, oh, uh, this is the day in the life of a, a watch dealer in New York City. It's like, that's my fucking Yeah, you're like, you're like, I just uh, don't say me. it like an idiot. Yeah. Like, don't fucking do that. <laughs> I do business with you. Don't do that. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's uh, got to be irky. Like, yeah. Oh, I kick him out of my groups. I put him back in just to fuck with him. Because I have, I have a lot of groups now. Uh, I started off with a Facebook group. Buckley and I started it. About, what the hell was that? Yeah, it's Armageddon. Okay. Yeah, dude, yeah. He's yeah. over here clutching on the fucking iron. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, um, I started with Buckley. <laughs> He's laughing. Just laughing. Like it's a joke. Um, yeah, I started a group with Buckley uh, back in back when I first started selling watches. We started a group. I'm like, yo, let's start a watch trading group. He's like, no, nah, that's not never gonna work. There's fucking thousands of them. I'm like, we're doing it. He's like, all right. So I started off Facebook and I make the group and he, I add my guys, he adds his guys. And it, within a week we had like 500 members and it was popping. Everyone loved it, I guess, cause of the name. Um, but it was popping off. And from there it was just, you know, just build up, build up, build up. Then maybe a year and a half later, we started a WhatsApp group for only vetted guys. Vetted mm -hmm. as in like you have a tax ID. This is your full-time business watch trading. Um, you know, so those guys are in the WhatsApp group and the WhatsApp group is fucking Pop Shout out to the WhatsApp off. group. Shout out to the WhatsApp group. Uh, we also started a Telegram group, and we started this thing back two months ago. We have, I gotta check because I don't even know. We got like a lot of members. 1,200 maybe? Damn. Jeez. Yeah, we have 1,200. And that's gonna be linked in the bio if y'all wanna yeah. join that. It's gonna yeah, be linked right here. 1,217 members. That's uh, a lot of business. <laughs> here's the purpose of the Telegram group. So, you know, our DMs are just getting flooded. Yo. How do, how do I go and buy a watch? How, can I come work for you? Uh, you know, can, can I get an internship? I will I will up and leave my family in in a heartbeat in, if in you say Europe. Yes. Yeah. Take I will take my last dollar and and get a flight to New York and be homeless. To and seriously, I I fucking go through my DMs. That's wild. So you have those people, right? Mm -hmm. You also have the people that are like, "Hey, I'm looking for this watch, this particular watch." I don't have it. Buckley doesn't have it. You can't keep every watch in the world on hand, right? We would source that particular watch from the same people that we put into this Telegram group, the same known dealers that have been doing this for just as long as, some of them just as long as Buckley. Mm -hmm. uh, so we put everyone into this group, right? We added our dealers in and, you know, we just put the link in our bio. We're like, listen, if you, if you want to learn how to do this, if you want to learn how to flip watches, click the link. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Click the link. Stop DMing me. Please stop. I'm not going <laughs> to sit here and explain to you, obviously, how to flip watches. I wish I could. If you want me to, it's $20 a month. Mm -hmm. right. Cancel any time. Click the link. <laughs> just click the link and pay the $20. The best is the people that are like, yo, I, like I said, oh, I'll, I'll up and move my whole family. To, <laughs> It's like, how much is that going to cost you? 10, <laughs> 10 grand? Yeah. 20 grand? Just pay $20. Yeah. And, and see if this is even Learn for it. you. Learn it. Yeah, because exactly. you don't even know. Like, that's yeah. like some I'm of saying. your passion. Like, I appreciate yeah. the, the blind faith, but it's like, <laughs> pump the brakes a little bit, yeah. buddy. No, no, these people think I'm making like $10 million a month profit. I don't know why they think that. <laughs> I'm not, obviously. <laughs> I wouldn't be dressed like this. I have a, I have a he question. He But shout out to Lulu, though. I have yeah, a no, personal question that you don't have to wait, answer. Wait, can I show my vans? Yeah, yeah, actually, please. These are, the, <laughs> these are my vans, okay? Those have been through war. Those, those look like I've seen some shit. Do those okay? look like $10 million a month vans? Do these look like $10 million a month vans? No, they're not. <laughs> what What is the... Uh, you don't have to answer this, and we can cut this question out. Okay. Off of watch dealing, what's the most you've made in a month? Mo oh. Yeah, let's cut that one out. Okay. I'll tell you guys, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like. Bullshit. Shit. We. Shit. And then off the Telegram group, we have. I could add that in. If we... Shit. Oh, yeah. Shit. So what is the most either profit you've made off a single negotiation or what was the most expensive watch you sold? Um, I'll go. I'll go based on profit. Okay. I mean. One watch, but the reason I always bring this one up, because you could again, you could always go buy a ninety thousand dollar watch mm -hmm. and sell it for you know ninety eight. But I like this one because I paid seventeen thousand ish for it, sold it for I don't know like what, something like that. It was some crazy shit like that, um, and yeah, that was just the most memorable one because it was just the, the margin, like the percentage wise. It's like, I'm <laughs> sorry. It's a horrid night. No, we got, we got critters in here. What they're, the hell was that? They're, <laughs> they're, they're my friends. We have an arachnid up here too. That's, that's Jim. The we, arachnid. We, uh, a what? The arachnid right there up the top. Right. Yeah. You see oh, it? That's, it's Jim. Spot, yeah. Okay. We yeah. just saw that. Yeah. Freak. <laughs> no, yeah. We're, we're, 
He waved. Him. We like to have critters around here. Yeah, yeah. no, the fly. If if you can just kill him. If if I mean, you're <laughs> okay. not the kung fu kid. You have any but chopsticks? Yeah, I'm about to say, grab <laughs> just grab, grab him straight out of there. We had a period in the uh, in the studio. Dude, like it was like two a, weeks it literally row. was like a two like two episodes back to back. I'm gonna go on a limb and say it was the same fly. Like he was just torturing us <laughs> at this point. He was an asshole, and I don't know what his I don't know what his motive was, but it was really annoying. So the the YSK budget doesn't allow doesn't include uh, yeah oh, no, 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 no no exterminators That's not in nothing the budget, no. yeah it's it's awful. And I actually like well because I'm well I er, thought you were about to say you like flies. I was gonna hit you. I was gonna, I was, I was gonna well you know what uh, appreciate y'all <laughs> earlier in the podcast before you got here I did talk about my love for squirrels. Mm. Oh yeah, you did. You did. Yeah. Yep. I would like to have. I would like to have a, a pet squirrel. What like? Please, just please. I'm. I'm not even gonna be biased. What are your thoughts on that? Just true thoughts. A pet squirrel. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know that their bites hurt. Okay. Don't ask me how. I, I was know. about to say. <laughs> how do you know this? It fucking hurts. It's not like getting bit by a but cat or a dog. dog or a fucking. Like you know, they're going for blood. Y- yeah. <laughs> uh, it is bad. They latch on and they shake. <laughs> So, I would be careful. Yeah, but I would name him Peter, and we would have a relationship. Peter? I like that. I like oh, if, if you, squirrel if named you Peter. were to raise him from birth, you know, and milk him, I think, or her, <laughs> a, a, or and, it. and almond milk, <laughs> or that, or it, almond uh, milk. If you, you know they like nuts already, come on, squirrel. You gotta, you gotta know your squirrels. Come on. But yeah, so I think that if you raised it from birth, I think you'd be okay, probably. I'm well. Earlier, I got. Killed for I it's, said I had a deep connection with a squirrel that I met on a tree. And we looked at each other. It was something there. I'm you said he hadn't you. felt that stare in a while. You deserve well, it. It's just, okay, but that, that makes it sound like I'm out here doing weird stuff. I just felt something nice with the squirrels. Uh, yeah, with the squirrels. So that, I have a. I need honesty on this question. This is a honest. question that no, like real honesty. Here we go. I'm a big Dave Portnoy guy. Huge okay. Dave Portnoy guy. Okay. Love El Presidente. Shout out to you, Dave. Love his videos. The pizza video is the best. Great. Now, in the watch community, there's been a lot of hatred spewing at Dave recently because he mm. started a, a watch company called, I think it's called Brick Watch Company. Brick, and a lot yeah. of people have been saying, ah, you're scamming people. You're selling a cheap watch for expensive, expensive Simply numbers. because the name. So, yeah. How do you feel about Dave Portnoy's new watch company, honestly? Honestly, yes. I don't know enough about it to even. Oh, know. oh! I swear to God, I don't. I don't look. I don't care. There you go. So it's like, business-wise, cool. I guess <laughs> I've I've seen people talk about it, but I kind of just scroll past it. Okay, could you couldn't even be bothered by it? No, literally. <laughs> it's like I, I feel could a care less. Question coming over here. I'm about. To, I have a video that brings out like all the intricacies of the watch. Okay. I'm thinking about playing it and then having you think how you feel about the watch company. Like a live reaction. Like a live, live reaction. reaction. Should I pull it up? Go for it. Okay. Let's see here. In the meantime, I'm gonna hit you with a little a three part little New York little New York question. Okay. Do you like the chopped cheese? The chopped cheese. Uh I don't like that all that shit that they put in it, like the fucking onions and shit. Like why are you fucking added onions <laughs> to my shit, bro? I'm an onion but, guy. I love know, I love me ba- some bacon, egg and cheese. Salt, pepper, ketchup on a roll, lightly toasted. <laughs> yeah. Um, sausage, egg, and cheese on a roll. Fire. Salt, pepper, ketchup, lightly toasted on the. <laughs> Salt, pepper, ketchup, lightly toasted Salt, on a roll. Lightly toasted. Um, you guys ever been to AC? AC. Atlantic City. No. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> so, when, you guys, when you guys come to Jersey, we'll show you say a good time in Atlantic City. So there we go. It'll oh, I know, out. I know what it is, but I'm yeah. Haven't been. Isn't there casinos? Oh yeah. You see, that's where I that's where I tap out. Yeah, we'll we got uh, We'll show you that later. Well, the yeah. casinos isn't the fun part. Oh yeah, yeah. Come, come we'll on. get into it. But they kay. got games. Second one. Oh my god, this guy. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're games, right? <laughs> we got games. Second one. What's what's your what's your music? What's your music vibe? What do you listen to? You music. hop in the car. What are you playing? <laughs> uh, lately, been bumping a lot of you know R.I.P. Seriously, I don't want to call him the goat because you know there's there's better people than him. But Pop Smoke, when he died, bro. I was just about to I ask you. Like, I, I was about that one. Mm-hmm. I remember. I was driving, and I was like, get a call from my boy. No, I, I was already on the phone with him. He's like, yo, Pop Smoke. I'm like, I'm, he's on Instagram. He's like, yo, Pop Smoke just died. I'm like, no, he didn't. Yeah, like, no way. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, fuck. Dude, I was just about to ask you about Pop, because I'm a big Pop Smoke fan. Yeah, but like, yeah. that was crazy. What's your favorite song? I like Iced Out Audemars. I like okay. all the, I like, okay, all his tracks that put him on the map, I like them all. Uh, but I'd probably say that's one of my favorites. Just 
That one just does it for me. I don't mm -hmm. know what it is, and it's probably not his best song. But you guys ever watch Power? Uh, no, I've, I've heard seen it. Never things. watched all the way through. I've seen a couple episodes here and there. I like Armed and Dangerous. Mm -hmm. Smoke. Because there's just one scene in Power where they fight. I'm like, oh shit, that's a tribute <laughs> to fucking Pop. That's, that's dope. So I like I like that song. That's probably one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And then there was Brother Man, you know, Brother Man, Brother Man. Yeah. That shit's fire. Dude, pop, bro, <laughs> pop, bro. Pop smoke's just fire in general. Yeah. All right, third one for the New York culture. Here we go. Let's go. Can you slash do you get sturdy? Is it in Can your I repertoire? Get oh, is, is it? In it my blood. Is it in? Um, yeah. <gasps> but oh. I got to be hammered. <laughs> Hey, so, hey, that's that's respectful. He that's might have seen it last. You see it last. Yeah, time? I did. I was I did. starting. Yes. The leg <laughs> started. He was, he was getting. He was getting there. But you know. So uh, yeah. so yeah, it's you know New York's in the in the DNA. Oh, all up there. It's just, it's yeah. good. You checked all the boxes. Cool. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm so, I'm so yeah. nervous about New York because we're supposed to be going. Why? We will. We so will be. Why we will, do you want to go to New York? We will be. Well, our biggest demographics there. Okay. And we're hopefully not announcement. Hopefully, we're doing a live show there. Okay. So, I'm just nervous. There's so many noises and people. And then when I sweat, I, I, I get anxious sweats. Like right now, if you were to feel me, if you want to feel my pit, do you want to feel my pit? I'll feel your pit. I, please don't feel my pit. Oh, okay. Now, that just, I the you, fact that he's doubling down, I'm used oh, to yeah. him no, like freaking out. I was trying to do a shit test because I'll feel your pit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he said, I'm real, straight up. That's it. <laughs> so, so yeah, he's a, right he's a sick up. No, but you sweaty like that? Oh, oh my God. You don't look sweaty. Oh. He's, a, he's an anxious. Yeah, it's because a thick turtle. He's got it. He's got it covered. And he's then, got essentials on. That's yeah. fine. He's, he's, Thank you. Oh, I was expecting to see you in an OVO hoodie. Yeah, they want. They all want to see me dripped out. But uh, he said, "This is the real Vukum." He is, said, "This, this is, is Vukum." If you if you see me, maybe if I'm out, I'll wear like something fresh. But you know, if you see me out, like most of the time, I'm just wearing a sweat. Like this was a fucking stretch for me <laughs> to put these things on. Uh, Those are far. But they're like just it. comfortable. They're almost yeah. like sweatpants. I usually just wear sweatpants and a hoodie. You put the hood up. Nobody knows it's made. Just walk. They're like, was that a homeless guy or was that Tyler? So do you, okay, do you, tr like, of course, you love, like you said earlier, you love all your fans, no matter if they send you annoying DMs, no matter whatever. Yeah. You love them all. It's lit. But I don't even call them fans. I still feel like I family, don't have fans. Family, no, following, no, 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 anything. No, it's not because, like, I'm, like, one of those guys, like, those cliche guys, like, no, nah, you guys are my family. No, it's, I, I just doesn't, doesn't feel like they're fans. They're just follow. I don't know, they're following me. Stalkers. But like, do you? So, like you said, sweatpants, hoodie on, hood up, and you can just walk. Do you ever like try to do that? If you know what I mean, like, if, if say you got to go out and get you a chopped cheese, like you're like, I really just don't like, not in this a disrespectful way to them, but like you're just like, I really just want this sandwich. I want to get back in the car and go home. <laughs> like, do you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you ever well, go out of your way to try to not be noticed? Um, on the street, yeah. Um. Just because I, in my environment, like I'm just, yeah. I just don't want to be noticed. Like, yeah. But they still notice me somehow. They're like, "Oh, it's high." I'm like, "Fuck." You're like, "God, I gotta get a bigger <laughs> hoodie." Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, let's get a picture. Or, Yo, like, they want to talk to me, which is cool. Like, I sit there and talk to them for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, as long as you know, as long as I don't sense any. Yeah, as long as you don't feel, as long as that, as long as that sixth sense Even, doesn't kick in. No, it, like before people come up to me, I'm I'm just like watching. Well, everybody. I mean, as mm -hmm. you should though. Like being yeah. alert, and it's always better to be proactive well, 40, than reactive. On 47th, it's it's like it's like a weird, like weird situations that'll go down where people get hurt. Like, so you just always you always just got to be alert. Always on watch. Be yeah. aware. So just be careful. Don't be yeah. stupid. Yeah. Like some of these guys, okay. And I'm not gonna call anybody out by name, but they'll know who they are. Uh, they'll be wearing fucking two hundred thousand dollar watches on their wrist, walking <laughs> down the street like this, like they're strolling, like. Bro, like yeah, what like, are you doing? That doesn't you are like, screaming like yeah. I won't come even, on. I don't want to even wear a G Shock. Like, yeah, because people would assume that it's a fucking Richard Mill shot or something. Yeah, they're like, they're like no, I won't wear shit. I'll wear it just like this, and I'll put my sleeves up to here so they know that I have nothing on. So I don't know. I think that that is just a very stupid fucking thing. Yeah, to do. Like, be, like yeah. Who are you trying to impress? Literally, like you already, if, bro. If you have a two hundred thousand dollar watch. Come on now, like what? Yeah, exactly. Why are you wearing that down go, the go sidewalk? Going to yeah, I don't. <laughs> even, like, I can't even think it. of a place where I'd want to wear that. Like where I feel you, like you'd comfortable. Have, I'd have to be at like, like if I was Drake and I had security around me, I'd be flexing. Yeah. Right. I wouldn't actually. I'm not a flexer. I wouldn't be flexing, but I would. I would be wearing a nice watch, and mm -hmm. I don't like watches. I'm not passionate about watches. I don't care about watches. I don't care about looking cool. But if I if I was like Drake and I had a team around me, and I was untouchable like him. I'd probably wear a watch. 
Like I wouldn't go crazy though. I wouldn't wear fucking crazy shit. Yeah. But There's just I no wear need. A watch. So to take so to take what you just said, you said you're not passionate about watches. Mm-hmm. Is that in the sense of fashion and you personally, or like, so business model wise, do you like the business and this it's successful? You know you're good at it, so that's why you do it. Or are you start like? Obviously, you're very knowledgeable about watches. Like you have to be. It's in your business. You just spit out the numbers. Sounded like code. Like yeah. they have no clue, but it's just like ingrained <laughs> yeah. in you. You know. It. But do you actually enjoy the watch part of the of the business, or is it just you are you're damn good at what you do, and so that's why you're sticking with it? Uh, I could appreciate a nice watch. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'd be like, oh, that's that's a nice paddock, or oh, that's a nice Samara, and I'd be like, oh, like I like it, but. To start geeking out and be like, oh my god, like, yeah. like get a wrist roll. Like, yeah. Like you're, you're just like, like uh, I'm gonna buy that and I'm gonna sell it. A video of your wrist and rolling it. Yeah. Like, like what are you doing? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't sit right with me. Yeah. Wrist rolls. Wrist, wrist rolls. rolls. You heard it here. Hey, don't don't wrist roll. Don't if ri- you gotta watch, just let, just let it roll, do its don't job. Don't fucking tag me in it, please. <laughs> I, bro, I'm getting tagged in wrist rolls now. Mm-hmm. Don't wrist roll and tag. <laughs> He's like. I will make fun of you I, or no, will not respond. That. I'll do something. I'll just won't respond. There you go. Better. You know what I like actually where I, I see most, of, I see most <laughs> of the, I see most of the DMS, right? You know, I get like a couple, I don't want to say a couple hundred, maybe like a hundred or 150 a day, which is just nuts. Yeah. But you know, I see a lot of them and I have people that answer my DMS now. I, I've hired people at this point. Um, and you know, it, it I'd rather answer the person that's just like, yo, I love your shit. Keep it pushing or something Mm -hmm. like the people that like hit me up asking for advice or, um, they'll, they'll, they'll try to flex. They'll be like, yo, how much is that watch? Just to like, just to talk to me. But I really, really rather someone just say, yo, I really fuck with your video. Yeah. I'd be like, yo, thanks bro. And then if he answers me and says something else, I'll answer him and I'll keep exactly. going. Yeah. But yeah, like some people, what they do is this was before TikTok at all, completely okay. before TikTok it is a common thing where people will they'll DM you about a watch, right? And they'll ask you 50 fucking questions just to tell their friends that they DM you a lot. No, no, no. Not even that they DM me in particular, but like they'll be at the bar and they'll be like, yo, yo, look at this watch I'm about to get. Oh, no, but no. they have no intention of buying the yeah. watch. They just want their friends to be like, "Oh wow, yeah, oh you, you got it like that. You can like get that. that. Yeah. yeah, it's like, uh, it's like you're not buying the watch. Like, you're not buying the watch. And <laughs> and I, I, I'm pretty good at telling. Like I could I could tell. You get that sense yeah. with within the first DM that they send, how they speak. I could tell. You can tell you're, if you're it's real. This if, watch, yeah. you're not buying this watch. And That's you know crazy. when they say don't judge a book by its cover. Mm-hmm. Uh, I agree. With, I agree with that. Because I have people that DM me. Uh, the other day, I can't say his name. Uh, I can say his name because you guys are just going to cut it out. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say his name and then you guys are going to cut it out. It's like, oh shit. They're going to <laughs> yeah. um, Do you guys know who this is? Why does oh, that sound that so familiar? familiar? Oh, oh, yes. Wow. I do know. Okay. Uh, it's it's like one of the kids. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um, I didn't know his last name. but Yeah. yeah. So I see, I see just messaging me back and forth asking me like a bunch of questions and I could kind of tell that he had potential to buy something. Cause I, you know, I saw a blue check. I didn't click on his profile. Uh, I saw a blue check, but his profile picture looked like a 15 year old kid. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, eh, I don't know if this kid's going to buy anything. Um, so, you know, we're going back and forth for, for months, you know, like, Oh, you know, asking me questions and I'm fine with it because I, I could tell that there was potential there. And I saw the blue check. I'm like, oh, I'm always going to be nice to, to anybody, really. Um, but, you know, he's demon back and forth. And the other day, a couple like a week or two ago, he's like, OK, I saw the watch on your website and I saw the other one. Uh, you know, uh, how do you take payment? And I'm like, OK, here's, you know, here's my Venmo. Send me a thousand dollar deposit so I can hold them and wire me by tomorrow. The remainder. Sends me a thousand Venmo. I'm like, oh, cool. So I click his name and I see his thing. It's like a million. Mm-hmm. Can you block out the number too so people don't know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A million followers. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, that's not what made me click it. What made me click it is he sent me his name and email and it said at com. And I'm like, right. what do you mean? So <laughs> yeah. I click it. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? And I see a million. I'm like, oh boy. And I look and the first pictures are just him and that guy. Yeah. And just, 
chilling. And and then I hit up my boy who like follows that type of shit. I'm like, you know who this guy is? He's like, no fucking way. I'm like, yeah. oh boy. Right. So He's like, was, you gotta sell it. <laughs> yeah. So that's like a story of never judge a book by its cover. I never really judged him, but I was like, okay, this kid's 15. He's not buying a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. So I learned learned my lesson. I guess. Yeah. Damn. That's dope. That's crazy though. Like who it is? That's yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Can you say who the m- most famous person you sold a watch to is? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> he said, okay. Yeah. Shooting my shot. See how it goes. Yeah. What do you uh? You what know, do you- a lot. Of, I'll just address it too. A lot of people ask, um, like on on live mm-hmm. and in the comments also. Yeah. And the reason you can't say is because when they buy something, they make you sign NDAs and shit. Yep. That guy, um, the guy I just figured. mentioned, didn't. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's big enough to to make me do yeah. that. But, you know, you know, they all make you sign NDAs. Like, yeah. I don't want people to know that I have this watch which makes sense like yeah. you can't even blame them because yeah yep. so. Se- yeah it's security issue what do you uh what are you doing for Christmas for Christmas uh just spending spending time with my family you get you, you're a gift giver or you like getting gifts which one's your favorite I'm, I'm a gift giver okay. I like getting gifts too okay well gifts are cool we can we can take care of that we got something for you of that right here. Our, uh, I'm scared our lovely sponsors He's over there clutching. <laughs> our lovely friends and sponsors at Manscaped knew you were coming. Oh shit! Look so at this. they want to give you a oh, that's full awesome. performance package. Performance. Yes. Uh oh. Full. <laughs> like a rhino pill from the. <laughs> no, no, not that. Oh god. Okay. But uh, it's got all the oh, stuff my. in there: lawnmower 4.0, boxers, oh, uh, ball boxers? deodorant, yeah. boxers yeah. in there. Oh my god. Ball deodorant, ball toner. You could probably use this right now because you're sweating. Oh, if you were to smell yeah, me right now, I'm a swamp yeah, land. This is fucking sick. Should I show it? Yeah, yeah, show him, show him. Shout out to Manscaped. Uh, yeah. Hook him, my boy, Tyler. Hook my boy, Tyler up. That's Book cool. him. Yeah. Nice. Look at this thing. Hopefully, you can get that through the plane. Yeah. Oh, shit. You, you should fine. be able to. Yeah. Be fine. I mean, because both, of, both of the liquids Oh, are... God, it's buzzing. <laughs> All right, cool. I thought he was, I thought he was <laughs> lifting his shirt up. I was, I was like, like, please, God. You were like... Yeah, so... Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so shout out to Manscaped. Thanks to... Manscaped? Yeah, Manscaped. I'm like, Manscaped. Thank you to Manscaped. Yeah, we love them and... They're big fans of your videos, so they're like, we need to hook them up. Yeah, they never reached out to me. <laughs> well, maybe after this. Yeah. We'll, we'll so that'd be kind of hard to incorporate into a video. Yeah, it's, yeah, for sure. Like, do you want the watch or not? By the way, Manscaped, you know, take <laughs> yeah. care of your balls. All right, I said 75. <laughs> <laughs> take care of your balls real quick. That's oh hilarious. Shit. Well, do you have anything else? Dude, I just think people, like, you always see the negotiating side. This is, like, this is why we love stuff like this, just getting to sit down and, like, chop it up. Because, mm. like, they see you and know you as, like, I'm gonna sell this watch. I'm gonna do whatever it takes. They knew you were a grinder from just your lifestyle and what it is, but like they didn't know all the cool backstories, like the humble beginnings, like mm-hmm. you really were working 12 hours as a 14 year old, yeah. stuff like, like just crazy yep. stuff. And that's why we really like doing this and having the opportunity to do this. So, first, thank you for showing up. Yes, thank they'll you. appreciate Thanks it. It's gonna me. be a great episode. Of course. But no, I just really like the fact that you kind of get behind the scenes when you do stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's dope. And if y'all wanna join the Telegram group, it's gonna be linked. Everything for him yeah. is gonna be linked below. Go do that. I know a lot of people are inter. Even if you don't know you're interested in, like I didn't know I was until I started watching his stuff. So if you, even if you, at the off chance, you haven't seen any of his stuff, I'm gonna link that all below. Just start watching it. And Dude, then, yeah, I don't even know how it came up on my for you. <laughs> me neither. But I was I'm like, I've not did. looked up a watch at all. Nothing. It was just there, and I was like, Dude, this shit is hilarious. I was like, I love this. And I was like, Boom, boom, boom. It was dope. All right. Well, Tyler, aka Vukum, thank you for coming on the show. Uh, new merch, the One Night Ten Koala Bear Christmas merch is available. Right now. And guys, remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. Co-host Cam, Uncle P, Vukum Tyler. I'll see you guys. We'll see you next week. Next week.